Good afternoon and welcome to the 1994 Darefest 94 three on three basketball shootout here on Saturday 4th, 1994. Today's sponsors are Crawford Memorial Hospital, Big Five Body Works, The Rocking Horse, First Robinson Savings and Loan, Philippi Grocery, Seaford's Auto Sales and Service Center, Crawford County State Bank, Hoagland Chiropractic Clinic, Oblong Feed and Seed, Sparks and Sons, Robinson Walmart, Loyal Order of the Moose, number 1369, and the Watermelon Patch, M&M Exhaust, Park Mart, The Days Inn, Connor & Connor Consulting Engineers, Family Vision Clinic, Robinson IGA Branch of the First National Bank of Oblong, Palestine Insurance Agency, Crawford Electric and Heating and Air Conditioning, Bob Fiskett's Auctions and Appraisals, and Worldwide Video and Sound Productions. All right, we're going to have a great day to here. It's a beautiful day down here at the courts. Uh, we got a bunch of people warming up here, getting ready to play a little bit of good basketball. Right now I have David Markway from the Robinson Police Department with me, and we're going to talk to him about uh, the D.A.R.E. program and what it's all about. Now, David, what made you decide to use a three-on-three -three for, for a D.A.R.E. fundraiser program? Well, I think what originally started it, uh, myself, Mike Daly, and Clarence Walton had traveled to Chicago. Uh, the Chicago Bulls organization put on a huge three-on-three -three tournament up there every year at the end of July, uh, and we just kind of got the idea from that. And there's also some uh, other three-on-three -three tournaments that travel around, a name that probably everybody may be familiar with in the, in the basketball game. Uh, Gus Macker is a big traveling uh, organization, so... Uh, we like the game of basketball and we love it, so that's what we just got with the idea with it. And Mike took it and ran. Well, definitely. Now they have that, uh, what is it, the Gus Mackey tournament? Is that also part yeah. of the D.A.R.E. program? Is that No, no. The Gus Macker is an organization who puts on three-on-three -three tournaments and they travel around uh, various parts of the country putting tournaments on. I think they have one in uh, Evansville, Terre Haute, Indianapolis, and, and places like that. Okay. Now, as I understand it, this is the third year for the three-on-three -three tournament, right? That's correct. Okay. Now, how's the response this year? I know there's a lot of people out here I see people out there hey games even started here they're playing here and how's the response from uh, this year compared to the last two years okay the first year we started out we had uh, 37 teams start out and we had a real good turnout uh, uh, we was impressed with it. The second year we come around, we end up getting 67 teams. Uh, and then this year we ended up with 120. So every year we've basically just about doubled our turnout. We're expecting an even bigger turnout next year. You expecting 240 next year? I don't know if we'll get that much, but I, I'm, I'm going to shoot for 150. We're going to have uh, several video cameras yeah, out here do. then. We have several. <laughs> All right. Now, how's the community feel about that? You got a pretty good response from the community? Yeah, we do have a real good response. Uh, everybody's been uh, willing to help and jump in. Uh, I know the community most of these basketball goals are donated from uh, uh, people in the community because uh, right now we're trying to buy a few basketball goals of our own every year uh, but until then we have to kind of count on the people around the public and what we do is we see them in their yards and stuff in their driveways and we basically go up and ask them tell them what we're doing uh, what it's for and they say no problem and then the day before we go around pick them all up and uh, then take them back after we're finished and we tell them if they get broke we'll pay for them so they're all insured so they're they're pretty good about that that's sure. good that's Along good with the local businesses who help us out on a lot of stuff with donations and just everything. like our great sponsors here helping us you out betcha. today yeah now now this is a three on three double elimination right correct okay so that means that you know somebody's got to be defeated twice before they're out of it and we're going to have the finals this afternoon the way i understand it too right right now what's this i hear i was kind of hearing some talk about a slam dunk concert okay contest excuse me <laughs> yeah it, uh, i think it's around noons what it's scheduled for we have a slam dunks contest it's usually pretty fun the people have a lot of a lot of fun with it. Uh, this year, from what I'm hearing, there's about 100 people want to get in it, but because of time allocation, we've only got about 30 minutes to conduct the, the contest. So what we do is uh, everybody who's interested, uh, they put a uh, name in a uh, box, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a lottery. Uh, if you're one of the lucky 15, then you pay your $5 entry fee, and then uh, we'll have the contest. We'll have three uh, judges, be Mike uh, Daly, myself, and I don't know who he's picked up for a third judge. Uh, First year we had props, last year we didn't allow them, this year we didn't know what we was going to do. And when it's all done and over with, the winner will end up with a pair of uh, brand new Nike tennis shoes. Oh, well that's great, that's great. 
Um, and I also understand that you have several DARE programs going on in the schools and the surrounding community. Can you elaborate on that a little bit for me? Yeah, every school in the community has a DARE program. Now we focus, uh, no, I'm not saying every school as far as grade school, high school and stuff like that, but we focus on the fifth grades here in Crawford County because that's where our core curriculum is at. Uh, Todd Liston, he is our county officer. He takes care of Palestine, Hudsonville, Alblong, and New Hebron, and then myself. Uh, uh, the last three years, I took care of uh, Robinson this year. Officer Shrenikal, Lenny Shrenikal, took care of Robinson uh, because he accepted a new job. I had to finish the year out. But we concentrate on the core curriculum, and there's also training available if we want to get into the middle school and high school ages also. Great. And where do you find most problems nowadays? Is it in the high schools, or is it... Uh, probably you're going to find more problems starting out in high schools because uh, kids get out of fifth grade, they get into middle school, and then and by the time they get in high school, uh, uh, peer pressure, is, it becomes really intense. Uh, the kids, they just want to be accepted, and they'll do just about anything if it's if taking some type of drug or, or just doing whatever and stuff. So that's where we start seeing most of our problems. But for the main main uh, part, Robinson is a great community. We don't have any what I call major drug problems. You're going to have a drugs in every community you go into, but uh, we don't have anything that, that you see a lot in your bigger cities and bigger communities. Okay, and before we get on with the play-by-play -play here, how many officers do you have involved currently with the D.A.R.E. program? Okay, acting, I know Todd Liston, as I said before, he's the uh, uh, county officer who takes care of the other schools. Uh, I've been involved in the last three years. I taught three years. Uh, then uh, Officer Shrenikal, he started this year. He is a trained uh, a D.A.R.E. officer. But uh, other officers that have the training are uh, Officer Clarence Walton from the County Sheriff's Department and also John Burkhofer from the Robinson Police Department are trained officers. Okay, David, thanks for being here with me today. And uh, we're getting ready to kick off the three-on-three -three 1994 Hoop Fest sponsored by the D.A.R.E. program and several of our other sponsors, one of them being the Robinson IGA. The Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank of Oblong is proud to be in Crawford County and is pleased to help you bring you this telecast. Enjoy the great hours and full-service banking at the Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank of Oblong. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. All right, the first game is, I've got a look here, is... Uh, Jamaica won, is that right? Okay, yeah, that'd be a local team there from Robinson. I see the name Josh Baxter, Troy Young, David Malone, and Jason Wagner. Okay, let's see. Uh, I've been following the game here too well. Let's see, I haven't either with the interview. <laughs> I'm not too sure who's up or what the score is. Right. Let's see if we can pick it up here. Okay. I just might explain a little bit why we're doing uh, for the people who are watching. What we do is uh, the game consists of uh, it's a 20-minute game or 20 points, whatever may come first. We're on a tight time schedule, so 20 minutes uh, reaches. Uh, nobody scored 20 points yet. The game is stopped, and who's ever winning at that point, they take the uh, they take the win. Yeah, great. That means you know that, uh, that you're not going to have a game out here that's going to last all right. uh, all and all and all and all and all and all and all. You know. Yeah, with 120 teams, with it, we're on a tight tight uh, schedule, so that's why we got to make sure we get things rolling. Everything's been working out great. Uh, this morning we had the team meetings with the uh, um, our court monitors, and I believe he had a team meeting with the team captains and everything, explaining the way thing is, the rules are, tell them we run a tight ship here, we're not going to put up with a whole lot of stuff. Uh, last year, you know, we just had very, very few problems, but I think it was a hot day last year, and by the time 4, four o'clock rolls around, there's some pretty intense ball. Yeah, the, it looks like you got some pretty intense ball players out here. People I hear from, I guess, miles and miles around, from mm -hmm. what I understand, from uh, Vincennes and all of Terre Haute, I guess you got right. some people here. We got people from Terre Haute, Vincennes. Uh, I know we have people I haven't taken a look at this year's entry and where all we've come or how big of a span but I know they've gotten letters. Every high school got letters within 100 miles. Well, so you got you got players from 100 miles around. That's good. I would say we've had some travel the distance because we also have a, a cut rate at the, uh, not a cut rate, but a, a player rate there at the day's end if people want to come in the night before, stay the other uh, Saturday night. We just tell them, tell them you're a uh, player with the Hoop Fest tournament and uh, they will give them a special rate. I think I should have done that instead of drove in from <laughs> Vincennes last, yeah, this Vincennes morning. That is not bad of a drive. Yeah, so. well, you know, I got up early this morning, so I should have probably done that too. All right, it looks like we got some good ball. He's in, and there's two. All right. 
They're checking it out. We got many games going on. I can see, let's see, uh, six in front of me and uh, six behind me. And I guess we got the courts on the other side of the school there going too. Is right, that total of 15 courts going, six on each side, what you see back in front and behind us. Then we've got three courts going also on the uh, other side of Washington School. We've never had to use a course in Washington School in the past because of our entry, but because of the uh, um, big entry this year, we had to resort to using the courts back there. So. Okay, well, he almost had it there. <laughs> he was going for he it. He was close. Now, you know some of these guys here, right? Right. Uh, I know uh, Troy Young here in the, in the uh, number 44 short shirt. Uh, it says Coleman on the back. Okay. I believe Josh Baxter. I believe Josh Baxter is over here in the uh, gray shirt. David Malone, I believe, is here in the red shorts. And then that leaves us Jason Wagner. Oh, no, it's, excuse me. Jason Wagner is here in the silver shirt. David Malone to be here in the red. And then uh, Jason, not Jason Wagner, who we got left here? David Malone, Josh Baxter, Jason Wagner, and Troy Young. Troy Young, I know two. One thing we're gonna have to do is put numbers on these guys right, next right. year. You know? <laughs> anyway, he's up and it's good. good he's gonna go for two points on that one. Uh, all the courts are marked with chalk. Uh, the way the scoring works out, if it's inside the three point line, it counts as one. If you're outside the chalk mark, it counts as two. Okay, that's good scoring. I like that there. And he's in. And it's not good. He's up. No, and rejected. Okay, he's at the top of the key. Over to number 44 and it's up. And oh, it's yeah, good. Two. All right, we got some good ball going on here. That's, uh, who is that? That just made the shot? Yeah, that, that was, was Troy Young. Troy Young at the top there. I know in the past also, uh, and they're playing today, they've made it every year. I might throw in, give them a little bit of a uh, plug, but we've got a local team that uh, I believe has won the championship. I know at least the uh, last, the first year, and I think they've won it the last two. It co uh, consists of uh, Todd Gill and uh, Jeff Barker from the high school coach up there and they, uh, a couple of the other players and stuff. They're a really tough team, so I'm hoping to see some action from them today. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You want to see the returning champs, That's right? That's right. They're a good team. They play well together and a good super bunch of guys, too. That's great. All right, he's checking the ball. There it goes. It's on the inside and good it's up. Off on the inside. And it's good. It's good. That's one. We need to be following this game a little closer there, but. Yeah, I think uh, get our interviews out of the way and get our. Uh, stuff out there and he's in off on the inside another one there we're playing yeah. a little bit more uh, on fouls and everything the court monitors who's responsible keeping track on everyone uh, offense calls their own fouls so if you're taking the ball and you shoot uh, you think you got fouled it's your responsibility to call it that's at least you ain't have to have referees out here and right. it's good good it's shot good. from Jason Wagner yeah, so if you're if you're playing defense, uh, you know, and you, you you what we call hack a guy, if you foul him, uh, the guy shooting doesn't make it, you know, you've gotten away with it. It's what you've done. Good hook shot. <laughs> you've gotten away with it. Gotten away with it. All right, also today's broadcast is being brought by the Royal Order of the Moose, number 1369 in Robinson. He's, they're proud to be a proud sponsor of today's broadcast and supports the youth of Crawford County. That's Royal Order of Moose, number 1369 in Robinson. But those, those are some of the people that help you sponsor some of the equipment that are out here today. Sure. And it's up, and it's not good. Had a problem with the offensive rebounds. He's in. Yeah. We'll call that one out. Yeah, I think that was out. <laughs> I think uh, as much as you hate to say it, I think Jason Wagner just had one put back in his face a little bit ago. Yeah. Uh, I know that's happened to me several times. It happens something, to the best of us. That's right. Something you don't like to see, but and that, that happens. That was good for one. See what they're going to do. Is he going to get the two? No. That was a nice move there. <laughs> Did a little fancy footwork. He's at the top of the key. Oh. I guess that was a foul. I guess somebody. Jason Wagner's got the ball at the top. Passes to. Let's see. I think that's David Malone just took the shot on the inside and made the layup. I'm pretty sure it is. I hope I'm getting the names right on those two. So they watch this a little bit later on. I get the ma uh, names mixed up. I'm apologizing right now on the air. So they say I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't realize they were going to start right there. When <laughs> now, do they have all the way back to this net? Is that the out? Is that the net? If they touch it, that's out. Is that right? Right. right. Okay. Your net is the out on the back side, on these sides over here. 
Uh, we've got out of bounds chalk line from the green, which you can probably see on the TV screen. They've got a little bit of outside of that. All right. To uh, go with, and usually it's the uh, white line there. Jason the Wagner's at the top. That'd be Troy Young that just had the ball there. And he is. Kind of threw a low. brick there. <laughs> All right, he's in, and uh, did he catch it? Yeah, I guess he caught it. Back to the top. Oh, nice move, and it's in for one. From what I've seen in the past, they play a pretty good inside game here. A lot of teams I watch, they uh, usually like to go for the two-pointers, try to get the game over with and quick. Get a good outside shooter. Somebody likes to put the ball up, uh, sinks two all the time. It's kind of, kind of hard to catch up when you're scoring one at a time. But I think our opposing team here, the uh, people from out of town, I'm not too sure where we're from. <laughs> they look like they've got a great inside game. I don't have a list on that either. And he's at the top. Jason Wagner's on the inside. He's back at the top. See what he's going to do. Uh, Troy Young. Now we got Jason Wagner. Oh, OK. The there. There Sorry about this. that. Back to Troy Young. And Turn around jumper. They got a little bit of peace. I think we got a foul call on that. Yeah, one. I think so too. No, apparently not. Apparently not. When I looked at the way the game kind of halted, I thought we had a foul called. Let's see if they're going to go for the two or the one. What do you think? Well, from the looks of the battle outside. Well. Oh, nice shot. Nice fade away. Just didn't fall for him. Jason back out to Troy. They got David Malone for the two, misses. Okay, good rebound on Jason Wagner's part, puts it back up for the point. And he was on the inside and scored another one there. The top of the key. Troy wants to take it himself there. Oh, and he, got, he lost it there. Him. There you go. And he's on the inside. Oh. And it's good. Oh, it's good for one. No way out of foul there, but the uh, offensive, you know, if you're going to get fouled just like any other game, I think we just ended the game there. Oh, right. I saw him. Uh, uh, see, saw, right. saw the, it kind of looked like he caught a piece of him there. I was, I was right. kind of trying to right. watch From that. the looks of it, I think we got a uh, local winner. I think Jason Wagner took that last shot, and if he did and they, they stopped the game, game, that means they got the 20 points first. So I think we do have a Robinson winner. All right. Congratulations, Robinson. It'll go into the next round. And the next round will be at uh, 1130, I guess. Is that That's when it's coming up next. If, if they win, yes, yeah, 1130. 1130. And today's games are being brought to you by by Oblong Feed and Seed. Oblong Feed and Seed has a full line of feed for livestock plus dogs, cats, goats, and rabbit pellets. Oblong Feed and Seed carries a master mix of brand feed. So the next time you need feed or seed, stop in at Oblong Feed and Seed at 314 South Range in Oblong. I want to thank everybody for being with us here today, and I want to thank our sponsors for helping us out today. All right, welcome back to the 1994 Dare Hoop Fest and the three on three basketball shootout. Coming up is uh, McDonald's, and I guess they're from uh, Robinson and uh, Oblong. And uh, then we also got the Razorbacks coming in here. We got Bill Strange, Dustin Miser, David Murphy, and uh, Dirk Sheridan on. Uh, the McDonald's, McDonald's there. And uh, then on the RC Razorbacks, we got Hawkins, uh, McRary, I guess is how you pronounce that, Gibson and Scott. Looks like we're going to have uh, a real good game here. Those uh, those RC Razorbacks got these shirts that say uh, shake things up. You think they're going to shake things up? Looks like it. Uh, we talked about our, our my, uh, radius when I was speaking with the team just prior to the game. Uh, ask them where they're from. They said they got three of them from Vincennes, and we got one from Princeton, Indiana. So he's traveled a little bit to get here. Uh, we can say we got McDonald's here. Bill Strange is just outside here on the uh, top of the key. Uh, he is the manager of McDonald's here in Robinson. I got to give him a little bit of a plug also because he's one of our main contributors here. So okay. uh, if you look on our shirts that we have, the McDonald's sponsors. So he's going to throw it in the top Things of the key, and I think he's going to take the first shot for, and a, two, he, for a single. Yeah, it's a single. He almost had two. If he wouldn't have made that other step, he would have had two. All right, it's so the top of the key. Going to dish it inside. And two. Oh, oh, boy. That was a foul. He grabbed him and threw that boy out of there. Did you catch I, that? I don't know what they end up calling on that either. I I, well, looks like they uh, just called it out of bounds on the oh, RC wow. Razorbacks. So McDonald's okay, that's, got a one, 
One nothing lead, puts it inside. Oh, and oh. it bounced it off the Gonna knee there. Inside, okay. Okay, let's see. Hawkins is covering him there. Okay. And Eric Sheridan uh, just put up the shot. I believe put up an air ball. Bill Strange grabbing for the board. Oh. He's going to go out of bounds. Bill Strange is there to say he's top of the key with the McDonald's shirt on. Well, yeah, he's, uh, he's got to, you know, sport his colors there. That's right. <laughs> okay, it's uh, McRae to Gibson. Gibson's up for, well, no, I take that back. He was up for one, but. Good board there on uh, Dave Murray's part. Oh, he's going to give it away. Okay, Hawkins has got it. Oh, Bill they're Strange fighting over for it again. Strange is up. Going to come out top of the key. Uh, when you do get the ball back, you got to bring it out to the top of the key. Dish on the inside. Okay, that's Gibson. And Hawkins is in. Yeah. I think we've got a foul call on that play. I think I heard a little bit of a hand slap. Dirk Sheridan, I think he had a little piece of the hand. Okay, we got Gibson at the top to Hawkins. Hawkins for one. And it's bad. RC Razorbacks can't quite get their offensive game together. Nah, they're, they're not shaking things up just not, yet. Not quite yet. Bill Strange is going to bring it back up top. No, we're going to have the uh, McCray. We McCray. got it there. RC Razorbacks going to McCray to Gibson. Gibson's in, go. oh, and it's good for one. Inside. That's going to tie it up, 1-1. One, one. Bill Strange will bring it out, try to feed it in. He's going to feed it into Hawkins is covering him. Dirk Sheridan. Oh, didn't oh. get it up. Oh, Offensive rejected rebound. again. Hawkins to Gibson. I think he I think he got fouled a little bit on that, but he's going to have to realize he's going to have oh. to call his own fouls. He's looking for the defensive player to get it. Right through Hawkins' hands and right out of bounds. Hey, Bill Strange, Strange bring top. it out. Got it into Dirk Sheridan. Dirk's going to turn around for the jumper. Oh, nice, shot. nice. It's going to give McDonald's a two to one lead. See if McDonald's is going to override RC Cola here. Okay, you got Hawkins with the ball. He's on the inside, oh, and it's good, good for shot. one. Going to tie it up. Had a wide open lane to take it to the inside. I didn't. I don't know why he did it, but I guess it doesn't matter now. He scored. <laughs> okay, we're into Jeff. Uh, Double coverage there for a minute. Strange got the shot and it's rejected there. Oh. Sheridan with the board, turn around, tries to hook it in. Oh, Let's get it. Oh, oh, that was a nice grab. All right, Gibson on the outside. Hey, Gibson. Gibson had a little reach on Bill there. Uh, for Dave Murray, Murphy with the ball now. Oh, and that's gone. Think, it's right out of there. <laughs> I think Bill Strange tried to dish that off to the inside. Just kind of gave it up. Game gets close. There's moves like that. It just kind of hurts you. Okay, we got a sub in now. I think we've got uh, Jeff Munson in there now. And yeah. Scott's with the ball. This is the first time I've seen him had his hands on the ball. <laughs> Jeff Munson, okay, out on the RC Razorbacks. Dirk, Dirk uh, Sheridan went out for McDonald's, and we have uh, Jeff Munson in now. He's from Oblong. Has we Jeff got, got some problems? You think that uh, knee brace there is going to affect his game? What I think that? that's uh, – you see a lot of ball players with knee braces on. You get to play ball, a lot of athletics, you end up with bad knees. Strange Bill Strange is, with a good move there. Tries oh, right to, to Scott. It into, uh, Jeff doesn't get it. Oh, he's got Gibson, a wide open Gibson, he's up, lane. and it's in. Wide open That's lane. good for one. R.C. Razor Bass going to take a 3-2 lead the way I have it on my score sheet. Well, they're starting to shake things up. And we've got a little offensive strategy going on, on the outside. Jeff Munson with the ball outside. Going to try oh. to take it in. Bad no, shot. He bad shot. Two people on him. He's not going to be able. He needs to dish that ball off a little bit there. It's Scott there, and he's trying to do the reach around. And it <laughs> but I think he got lucky, I think, in the midst of all that. It touched an R.C. Razorback player. Hey, Bill Strange's going to take it out. Strange keeps his hands on is. that ball. Okay. Oh, and rejected oh, by Hawkins. Rejected. I think we had a little foul on that, too, but like I say the offense. Scott at the top of the key. It. And Gibson in. A Hawkins with the rebound. And Hawkins for one. That's good. 4-2 RC Razorbacks favor. <laughs> Just an absolutely beautiful day out here at the courts today. Couldn't ask for a nicer day, not a cloud in the sky. And that was good for one for the McDonald's team. Okay, McDonald's got one there. Yeah. Black Daily came up behind me. I had to <laughs> deliver a quick message. So. Hawkins on the inside. And, oh, a right a roll right around that good rim. shot. Got uh, Jeff Munson on the rebound. Bill Strange going to work for it. He's going to take it into the hole, it looks like, by himself. Nothing but air on that one. Jeff Munson's going to bring out the rebound, bring it back out, and see if they can regroup. Team back together. Dirk Sheridan. No, we've got uh, Dave Murphy oh, back. Oh, nice shot by Dirk Sheridan. Okay, he's going to tie it up. I believe that was Dave Murphy on the shot. I keep getting Dirk and Dave mixed up, but that was <laughs> Dave Murphy on that shot for the single. Scott's on the inside. He's a tall guy. Oh. 
And Hawkins. the ball. Hawkins. Gonna dish it back out. To Gibson, to Scott. Scott up for one. Oh, rebound. and oh. Hawkins for one. R.C. Razorbacks gonna take a five to four lead. McDonald's just trailing by one. I'd like right. to see McDonald's try to sink a sink a deuce outside the line out there. You'd I like to see that, good. huh? Got a and shot. It's not good. All right, Scott's got it. Okay, we got a sub. Dirk Scott's Sheridan. on the outside. Gibson. Thought Gibson was gonna go. Scott's gonna go for two. Oh, not good. Gibson on the rebound, good for one. A six to four lead, we got a sub back in for McDonald's again. Jeff Munson's back out of the game. Dirk Sheridan is back in. Got a lob inside. I think we want to try to get a quick pass, didn't work. Strange gonna go for two, doesn't, just off to the left side. Scott's on the inside. Uh, to McCray, McCray, no. Okay. Who was we out of bounds on? Apparently must be out on, uh, well, we're both going here. We both think we got the ball. <laughs> Let's see. I think they both going, want that ball. I guess it's out, out of bounds on the RC Razorbacks. Okay, now he's getting the ball. Bill Strange going to start out top of the key. Going to go over to Dirk Sheridan. Dirk Sheridan's working. Looks like he's got trapped a little bit in the corner. Oh, oh off the knees. Off, off the, the knees. knees. We'll turn that over to the RC Razorbacks. The next time you need exhaust work done, go to m, &M Exhaust in Robinson. m, &M Exhaust also does oil changes, brakes, air conditioning, and shocks. That's m, &M Exhaust at 303 West Main in Robinson at 546-5593. Okay, another, another sub in from McDonald's. McDonald's goes for two and doesn't get it. Scott. Jeff Munson is back in. Bill Strange going to take a breather this Gibson. time. Gibson. Gibson's on the inside. Oh, and Scott's got the rebound and the... One in there for Scott. Okay, McDonald's down three points. Need a little, need a little, need a little regrouping here. Well, say a, a RC Razorbacks are definitely shaking some things up here. Got a deuce from downtown. He's about three foot outside the two point line. So Hawkins on the outside. The to inside. McCray, to Scott. Scott's up for two. Oh, Ew. off the back. Scott gets his own rebound. Oh, inside to McCray, bounces off McCray. Jeff Munson on the outside with the ball from McDonald's now. He's going to go Rejected up. Rejected by Hawkins. They're going to get the ball back, but you kind of hate to see those like that. <laughs> kind of let your ego down. Yeah. Rooting for the home team here. <laughs> That's right. Okay, good layup shot. Thought it was going to fall. Dirk Sheridan tries to grab the McCray board. McCray to Hawkins. Hawkins on the outside. Oh, he takes a shot. Dirk Sheridan back with the ball. No, we got Jeff Murphy here. He's got trapped. He tried to oh. uh, bounce it off the player of uh, RC Razorback, and I think he got away with it. Seen a lot of out of bounds here today, folks. A lot of people bouncing balls off the knees there. Okay. McDonald's got possession. He's on the inside. Oh! Good point. And it's out on the McDonald's. RC Razorbacks have the ball. Dirk Sheridan put that last shot up for McDonald's. McCray to Scott. Scott on the inside for one. It's good. Score of eight to four. McDonald's kind of burying themselves and putting themselves in a hole. Dirk Sheridan's going to start out top of the key. Put it into uh, Murphy. Murphy to Munson. Munson lost control. Munson. Oh, he throws it up and it bounces off the backboard. That was a classic case of just getting that one hand to knock that ball off of there. He, and he knew he was in trouble, so he had to go somewhere. Scott to Hawkins. Hawkins on the inside. Oh, and Scott comes up with the rebound, oh, and it's good. Nice shot back behind him. Scott is almost a head taller than anybody else out there. Yeah, he's, he's got some pretty good height. People who's wrestling him in the middle got a lot to deal with. Munson going to start out top of the key, top of the key back over to Murphy. Murphy's going to try to take one. I don't think, I think he had his foot on the line. I think he went for one. See McCray to Hawkins, Hawkins on the inside, and it's good for one. Score 10 to four. Kind of see McDonald's trying to get down a little bit. Still got plenty of games left. I've seen games turn around. Well, he's taking some long shots. He's about three point. Munson got the rebound. He's gonna shoot. I think they need to stay to the inside. All right, Gibson on the inside. Oh, not good. Hawkins with the rebound, still not good. Hey, Murphy got the board on that one. Now he's looking for his teammates. Got Munson outside. He's got Dirk Sheridan over the other side. He's trying to figure out what to do. He's going to put it up. Looked like oh. a nice shot. Didn't fall. Hawkins with the ball. 
Hawkins to Gibson. Gibson on the inside to Scott. Scott up with the layup, oh, and it's good. Beautiful pass, beautiful pass. Dirk Sheridan's going to bring the ball back out to the top of the key. Got Bill Strange back in the oh, game. Oh, oh, missed the pass totally. Almost took out our, Almost took out our video camera Almost there. Took it out on this side. Yeah. We got uh, said Bill Strange is back in the game. Jeff Munson's back out. I think they're going to call that. I figured that'd be out. They're going to keep it in. Bill Strange is going to take a long two, but doesn't put it in. Okay, Hawkins on the inside, and he's up. Oh, rejected, and Hawkins with his own rebound, and it still rolls off. Okay, Gibson with the ball at the top. He's going on the outside to Scott, to Hawkins. Hawkins on the inside, and it's good. Here's a score, 11 to four. Seeing a lot of good hustle out here, Bill Strange. A lot of playing good some, hustle. Playing good defense, trying to steal the ball. He's gonna go into Murphy. Murphy's gonna turn around and take a shot, and he just got too many people there on him, nowhere to go with Scott the ball. With, Scott with the ball, or Gibson with the ball. And Gibson up for two, and no. There's Bill with that hustle again. He's always there at the wrong time. <laughs> Now if they just put something in the hole, there it goes. And there Dirk it goes. There. All right. He's That's the first one today, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. Gives McDonald's score of five, still down by uh, seven points right now. Uh, gives him with the ball to Hawkins. Hawkins goes for one, and it's good. As soon as McDonald scores one, they're going to turn around and give it right back to him. Bill Strange will start out the top of the key. Well, as we said earlier, it's a double elimination, so it ain't over till it's right. over. You hate to get in that loser's bracket because it's a lot of work. Dr. Dirk Sheridan's going to put the uh, ball up, shoots an air ball. Gibson gets the rebound to Hawkins. Hawkins is up. Oh, oh. and it's a lot. And uh, oh, oh. nice reverse back. I don't think that was meant to be a pass. I think that was a shot. I think. Yeah, he just <laughs> I believe Dirk Sheridan got a piece of that ball on the last one or got a piece of arm or something. Like I said, it wasn't any fouls called again. It's a hard game to call your foul because usually uh, – in street ball, defense calls it if, if you hack somebody, but now it's going to be offenses, and that's where it's kind of odd. I know it was always a problem for me getting used to it. Bill Strange going back to Dirk. Dirk's going to try to put it in for a single. And he does. Nothing but net on that one. Great shot. Great shot by Dirk there. Bill Strange is really moving on this court today. We've seen a lot out of that player today. He's got to hustle. He's got to drive. Well, he's a small guy, and he looks like he's moving around Scott, pretty well. He's got it to top, and it's mm. good. That's good for one. Donald's down now. They've got uh, down by the score of 15 to six. So they got a lot of room to make up. This is where a good two-point shooter. Oh, he got a piece of it. He's got a oh, Strange with the rebound. There he is, back out to Dirk. Oh, and he's gonna let it go. Dirk's got a hustle. He's gonna recover that ball back, so there's no problem there. Back to Strange. Bill Strange takes it and drives. What a shot! Kind of looked like, a little bit like Michael Jordan on that one. Yeah, a little Michael Jordan. A little Michael Jordan. <laughs> We'll dish off. Scott with the ball. Into Gibson. He's looking. And it's good. I noticed uh, RC Razorbacks are really working on the inside here. Yeah, there. they've got a good inside. They got the height there also, but they got some people got some moves. Munson back in the game now. He puts up an air ball. Gibson with the return. There's to Bill Scott, to McCray, to Gibson. And it's good. Gibson, uh, Gibson's in and out of there. He's a key player in there. He's a good inside, good passes going, good good teamwork on RC Razorbacks part. Definitely, definitely. Munson's going to start out the top, bring the ball out. He's going to go over to Dirk Sheridan. Dirk's going to, well, it looks like he's going to take a deuce. Oh, didn't get it. Bill's going to start out with Oh, rebounds. Bill got it rejected by McCray. McCray with the ball to Gibson, to Scott. Oh, oh, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. If that would have went in, that would have been beautiful. I say, I had to hand it. If that was going to go, I'd be one of them. It's like, if, I think it would have been a miracle. And this guy was just, whole, I saw him holding the urge. You know, you can't dunk in these contests. He, he right. had that urge there. I saw him. Because uh, got started out with Bill Strange. Oh, he lost the ball, but Dirk Sheridan's there to cover for him. Oh, let's see who got it. Uh, I, believe I think that was out on the Razorbacks there, I think. Right. That well, was... Bill Strange, I believe, called the foul, or somebody called the foul. Gibson must have called it because, no, Strange, Everybody's looking at the monitor there. The monitor's going. <laughs> he was actually out on Gibson's, who was out on, but I don't know what they call. They must have called a foul or something because when Strange was going for the ball, because they're going to give the ball to the RC Razorbacks. All right. Scott to Gibson. Gibson on the inside. Back out to Scott in the middle. See if Scott's going to take. Yeah, he takes a shot, and it's just rolling on the rim there. Gibson back it out There's to the top. Thing. McCray. McCray to the inside to Scott. And Scott takes a second shot, and it's good for one. Okay, we got scoring 18 to seven now. 
Just uh, just got the game almost finished here. McDonald's really got themselves buried. They're going to have a lot of work getting out of that winner losers bracket. He's on the inside. Oh, Munson takes it in. Uh, Munson gets on the inside there. He just he's not having a lot of luck today. Not having a lot. A lot of, he gets the ball there and he doesn't know what to do with it when he gets it there. I think he knows what to do. It's just not happening for him. Gibson goes for two. Nineteen. No, I guess that was one. Huh? You're going to count as one. He was one. inside the line. One more point and the uh, RC Razorbacks going to have this game. See what they in got. the books. All right, Gibson on shot. the outside. Gives him McCray. McCray's up, and it's oh. air ball big time. McDonald's ball. Now you see, you'll still see McDonald's giving it effort, even though they're down quite a bit. Bill Strange back with the ball. Almost lost on that. Bill with the Gibson with the, the return to Scott. Back out. Here we Gibson's on the inside, and that's it. That's ball game. That's the end of the ball game. Congratulations to the RC Razorbacks. And well, hold on here. They're keeping playing. I've got a score of 20. Apparently, I'm all somewhere. Wonder what they've got for the court monitor. Okay, well, maybe. <laughs> one. We'll keep going. I must have added one too many here or something, but I've got 20. So I thought, yeah. We'll see if this does it for him. All That's right. going to do it. I was off That's the point. Good. So we finished with a score of 28 in the uh, RC Razorbacks' favor. So we'll see if we can catch up with Bill Strange's team in a loser's bracket here in a little bit. Okay, congratulations to the RC Razorbacks. That's uh, Hawkins, McCray, Gibson, and Scott. Um, Big Five Body Works is a complete collision repair facility with the latest laser frame system and the latest DuPont paint system. For insurance work or custom work, anything for parents, trucks, cars, or vans, at Big Five Body Works across from Walmart in Robinson. Also, Bob Fiskett's auctions and appraisals of Robinson. When considering an auctioneer, don't overlook the experience and dependability and stability. Bob Fiskett's and staff are here to serve you in your auction needs. Bob Fiskett's auction, auctions and appraisals, a pleasant choice for your consideration. All right, we're happy to be here with you at the 1994 Hoop Fest. This is the third year of it going on. Uh, we're having a great time. You having a good time, David? Having a good time. Well, that's good. We're having a great time. We got some great sponsors out here today. A lot of uh, young individuals, old individuals even, yep. out here playing some great basketball. And uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back at the 1994 Hoop Fest, and uh, right now we have, let's see here, we have the Defenders and the Adjuster, or uh, Adjusters. Ad adjusters, all right, just make sure I got it right. Game in progress, no scores yet. Oh, we've got to do have score. Uh, now it's going to be two to one, the uh, Adjusters favor now. Adjusters favor, okay. Uh, the easiest way to tell these two teams apart is Adjusters have uh, no shirts on. All right, the guy in the green shorts there is, uh, Brian Grindstaff. Grindstaff, all right. Just to give you a little bit of info, uh, we this team from Robinson, the uh, um, defenders, they are the defending champions. That's why they call themselves that. Can uh, consist of Jeff Barker, Todd Gill, Don Gallion, and uh, Larry Fairbanks. They're all from Robinson. They're out of school now, and I just asked Todd before the game, and uh, he said, yeah, that they hadn't won it the last two years, and they're trying to defend their title again. Well, good luck to them. Dan Gallion just took it to the hole on that one. They're going to tie the score up 2-2, as I have, but I hope I'm not off here because we're a little bit delayed getting the game started. Okay. Um, on the adjusters, we have Brian Fitz, uh, Todd. Uh, Garo. Garo. Chris. Baccio? Baccino, I think. Baccino, is that And uh, Grindstaff and Brian. Brandon, Brandon Fights in the red shorts. All right, great. And uh thing about the adjusters here is they're from St. Louis, so that's a uh, good ways away from here. Traveled at least three hours to get here to come and play. Don Gallion puts up a deuce out there, so he's going to give the defenders a uh, two-point lead over it. Uh, okay, we got Grindstaff at the top to Garo. Garo for two, and it's good. Ties it up. I think you're going to see a, a, an intense ball game. Usually uh, uh, Jeff Barker's team here, Todd Gill's team, they put in a lot of hard work. They're good ball players. They all were exceptional ball players in high school. Jeff Barker, who just had the ball, he's dished out to Gill now. Gill got it taken away. Jeff is the coach for Robinson. Ooh, that, now that was uh, Garo again for two. He's really hitting them. He's hitting them. That's two in a row. They say you get an outside shooter out there, it's going to be able to put the twos in. He could put a real hurt on you. 
All right, let's see. Okay, Todd Kill's going to start out the top. The key's going to hand off to Barker. Barker's going to take for a deuce, and he's going to get it to he, drop. He got it. That was I think we may have a two-point ball game here. Everybody's going to go back and forth, see who can make the most twos. I think we're going to see a lot of outside action here. Okay, it's Garo with the ball. He's at the top. Oh. To Baccio, to fights and fights in for one. All right. We're really getting some intense action. I think I just got hit here I, by I the basketball. Get, <laughs> I heard he get hit. Uh, Todd Gill's <laughs> going to take it over. He's going to hand it over to Gallion. Gallion's going to try taking it He's in. He's on the inside, and it's, oh. Mark's going to take it. Look okay. like about a little 10-foot jumper and miss it. It was uh, Bacino with the rebound on that one, and he's at the top. He passes to Garo. Garo's on the inside. Oh, Ooh. oh, that was nasty. It's like a little bit of a collision yeah. underneath there. Is it an offensive foul, maybe? I think that's what we're going to call, because I think the uh, Jesters are going to get the ball back. Knock down the court sign. All right. Yeah. It fights off to Garo. Garo up for two. Gill with rebound on that. Gill gets up. Okay, they're fighting good. for the ball. Uh, Baccio took it away. Oh, he got Gil. it back. Gill's going to take the ball away. Gill's team here, Jeff Barker, is going to try to take a deuce and sinks it. Oh, nice one. Nice one. I have him score eight to seven. Like I say, I hope I'm not off here. Uh, I feel some real tension in this game. Uh, Garo with the ball to fight. Fights on the inside. He's up for the shot, and it's one. Gives his tie score eight to eight. These guys are some really intense ball players. I noticed a little hostility on the court there. Yeah, they uh, we got a term called trash talking, and uh, by the end of the game, there'll be a lot of trash talking. Oh, nice, nice shot. Did you see that one? Uh, Baccio slammed it out there. Larry, Larry. Oh, Fairbanks that was way up in the air. No, that's that's gone. Tried to take a deuce, didn't get it. Uh, tried for the offensive board, ended up getting it back to the adjusters. Okay, it's going to be fights with the ball to Garo. Garo to Bacino. Bacino's on the inside, and he's up for the shot, and didn't Jeff even Barker come close. with rebound. Going to hand it out to Gallion. Gallion's going to go for a deuce. Oh, that Just was... doesn't get it to fall. All right, Baccio, two fights, fights on the inside. Fights him. All right, Garo. He's on the outside. He's thought about going for two. Back in. Oh, oh rejected. Jeff, Jeff Barker's going to give that one back to him. That's the thing about the uh, defenders. I'm really impressed with their ball playing. They've got a good outside game. They've got a good inside game. They can just about do it all. Okay, fights on the inside. He's being, oh, let's see what's going to happen here. Back out to Garo. Garo's going in. He's fighting his way in. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. That was almost an offensive fall there, you know, but nobody called it. Still early in the morning, too. Uh, you got to realize it's only about uh, 10 o'clock, and at 4 o'clock, these guys are hot, they're tired, they want to win, and that's when it really gets intense. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Gill's going to take it out. He's going to bring it back out to Barker. Barker's going to go for a deuce. Doesn't get it to fall. Okay, Pacino with the rebound. They're really fighting here today. Let's see, Pacino on into fights. Fights gets it. He goes for the shot, and it's good for one. It's definitely going to be hot out here today. It's I believe that's going to give us a tie score, 9-9. Nine, nine. Todd Gill's going to bring it over to Barker. Barker's going to sit back. Guru's on Barker He's got there. Fair, Fairbanks back over here. Todd Five. Gill's going to try to take it to the hole. He's going to get a little short five-foot jumper. Got his own offensive rebound. He's going to get it to fall. Good effort on Todd Gill's part. Real good effort. He really got up there, too. I was <laughs> Todd Gill, I've known Gill. Uh, Todd Gill for several years, and he can jump. He can get up there. Just as well as Jeff Barker can also. I think we're going to see a sub in here. Jeff Fights Barker's on the well. inside, and is it going to fall? Oh, nice shot, nice shot. Let me see, if I got the score right, uh, I've got them 10 to 10. Uh, it's going to be a good battle. It's probably going to come right down to the wire. Fairbanks over to Gill. Gill's going to take it. He's going to give it back over to Gallion. Gallion gives it behind the back. Uh, dribbles. Looks like he's going to go for a deuce. Doesn't get it. There's Todd Gill with the hustle. Nice save, nice save. Did he get it? Did, was that a save? I guess it was. All right, Baccio on the inside. He's up. And no, let's see. Baccio with his own rebound up for, no. Looks like we have some foul I think action we have, there. Uh, Todd Gill, from what I've seen, he just called an over the back foul. So that's going to give the ball back to the defenders. All right, I'm Joel Kovas, and I've got uh, Dave Markway with me. And we're still here at the 1994 Hoop Fest. Gallion for a pair. He's got him. 
Class CSA gives the defenders a two-point lead, 12 to two. All right, fights on the outside. He's really fighting them. Fight's fighting. <laughs> Good hustle out there. That last foul was called. Uh, I know Gill was talking. I don't think the other uh, team agreed with the foul, but hey, that's the way it goes. You got to call your round. This is basically street ball is what it is. Let's see, that was uh, Grandstaff. Yeah. Gain's going to lift it out. Uh, Fairbanks going to go for a pair. He's going to get a little bit of air ball in there. Just not enough ump in it. Let's see, Fight's taking out the ball at the top of the key. Fight's over to Grindstaff. Fight's up for two, and it didn't fall. Be an easy board for Galleon. Gonna work back over, Galleon's gonna try to take a pair, doesn't get it. Seems to uh, Grindstaff's at the top, he's on the outside. Looks like we got a little pick action going there. Fight's lost it, and it's gone. I think that's gonna go to the defenders. Uh, defenders ball. No, it's gonna go to the adjusters. Okay, adjuster's ball. That's Grindstaff at the top to Pacino. Pacino on the outside, almost lost the ball. Oh, he tries to get a pass in, Grinds. no? Got to get with the hustle, he's gonna take it to the hole, I think. And, and he got it in, that was nice. 13-10 score, I have it. Uh, defenders are gonna be leading here by, by three points. Okay, uh, fights at the top, passes off to Grindstaff. Grindstaff for two. Doesn't get it. Say somebody needs to grab that board. It kind of laid dead there for a few seconds. Galleon's <laughs> gonna bring it out here. Barker's gonna come out. Defenders seem to be going to the two point game instead of the inside game right yeah. now. Grindstaff with the rebound, lost the ball. And the uh, defenders, let's see. I knew we had a little bit of a problem. Let's see, what are we gonna come out with? Defenders gonna keep the ball. Galleon's gonna keep, he's gonna hey, go for a nice, deuce. nice two. Looked like there's a little bit of confusion out there, and there still is. I don't think the adjusters was ready for that. Uh, the defenders still kept the ball in play, and they just shot it, and they scored two out of it. Let's see what's gonna fights with the ball. He's at the top. He's looking off to Grindstaff. Grindstaff for one. It doesn't get it. Bacino. Uh, Bacino caught one in the eye there. I think so. It's getting intense. You can tell. Bacino. Uh, he. Uh, I think he's not very happy with the th way things are going. Grindstaff at the top, off to Pacino. Pacino on the outside. Pat oh, goes for it, and he gets the one. Nice shot, I believe he put that one over Galleon. I think it was down there, Galleon or Barker. It's gonna give a score of 15 to 11. Galleon's gonna take the ball, he's bringing it out, trying to find a position on the inside. Fairbanks looks at it, he's gonna go back out to Galleon. Galleon's gonna go for a deuce and sinks it. And he sinks it. The Family Vision at cl uh, Clinic at uh, 1004 North Allen and Robinson has frames starting at just $40. And lenses starting at $45 with same day service in many cases. And for a limited time only, you can get a free uh, scratch coat and UV. Offer ends soon, so call them at 544 3612. The Family Vision Clinic, the place to get your glasses. All right, grind staff is at the top. Off to Grow. Rose back in this game, off to Fights. Got the rebound. Fights is looking, he's looking, he's looking. Off to Garo at the top. Off to Fights, he's on the inside. And he puts it up with his own rebound and gets one. Gives him 12 points. Worked hard for position on that one. Good defense on the defender's parts. Fairbanks gonna take the ball outside. Who's he gonna feed? Gonna give it in to Galleon. Galleon's gonna take it in, gonna take a short jumper, offset, oh, what a shot. Nice shot. I didn't uh, didn't think that was gonna go. It didn't look like he had quite the, uh, I don't know, right uh, perspective on that shot, but he got the fall, so that's all it counts. Fights on the inside. He, he turns, he looks, he's off to Garo. Garo in the middle for the shot, and it didn't fall. Grandstaff with the, the rebound, and it still didn't fall. Fairbanks gonna bring it out. Galleon's gonna bring top of the key. Barker's wide open over there. He's gonna go ahead and try to take it in just for the single. Fairbanks got with it. a follow up. Got 19. I think Barker was looking for the win on that last shot, but he said, well, let's just go for the single and make it easy. Grandstaff to Garo. Garo's looking, he's being covered good. Garo's on, he's really looking. Passes off to Grindstaff. Grindstaff to fights, fights on the inside. He shoots, and it's all around and didn't get in there. 
There's Fairbanks. Fairbanks, uh, right now they need a single point. Uh, wouldn't make any sense to go for two. I think we're going to have a foul. Defender's going to get the ball back. I think, I think so. they're just looking for the single. If I have it right, they're just going to need one point to, to put this one in the books. We got it. So they're probably going to look for the inside shot, but then Jester's going to look for the uh, defense. Fairbanks out to Barker. Barker's going to take a short jumper. Okay, Garo with the, the rebound there. He's on the outside. He's hustling hard. Oh, and he loses it. I think we're going to call that one out on the defenders. I think the adjusters are probably going to get that one back from the way I Definitely. see I think, it. I think he knocked it. All right, let's see. The adjusters here. Grindstaff with the ball to Fights. Fights is driving, and he shoots. And I uh, think they're going to call a foul, foul on that on one. That one? I think Dodd Gill, I, I, I seen a lot of ball there. I seen a lot of ball, but I think the uh, offense called the foul on it. Hey, Todd's going to go out. We're going to have a substitute. Dan Gallion's going to come in. Okay, Garo with the ball. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking. He goes on the inside and rejected. Oh, good rejection on Jeff Barker's, Jeff Barker's part. Come up from behind, wasn't able to get it, but uh, because it went out on him, he was the last one to touch it. Fights with the ball. ball to Garo. Garo at the top for two, and he didn't get it. Grindstaff back out to Garo. Garo on the inside. Oh, oh another a, rejection, I think. He had a man wide open in the red shorts. I don't know who you got. Uh, fights, he had fights wide open. I don't know why you didn't give the ball to him. Let's see, fights there. He's on the inside. He goes for two, or one. Fairbanks with the uh, board. Let's see what we got. They're going to go ahead and go for the deuce. And, and he got it. it. Okay, the defenders, the defending champions, two years in a row, they got the first game under their belts and they'll stay in the winner's bracket and go to the next one. Want to congratulate the defenders. Now they're from Robinson, is that right? That's correct, they're from Robinson. And they've won the last two years, as long as, this, years. as long as this thing's been going on. So right. we're gonna see some great action out of them today, I hope, and uh, hopefully we'll see them in the finals here. And there's never been a better time to fix up your home. We can also help you make great improvement with a home improvement loan. So if you're uh, thinking about making a new sun deck, a rec room, or some new carpet, stop in to see one of our loan officers today. We're an equal housing lender. First, Robinson Savings and Loan, a federal association, member FDIC. We stood the test of time since 1883. And Seaford's Auto Sales and Service Center in Oblong is a home of fine used cars, vans, and trucks. Seaford's is a complete auto service center with over 70 years of mechanical experience. Seaford Auto Sales and Service Center is located at 206 East Main Street in Oblong. Your Robinson Walmart is proud to be a Crawford County is proud to be in Crawford County and is pleased to help sponsor this telecast of today's Hoop Fest 94 for the Robinson Police Department's D.A.R.E. program. Shop at your Robinson Walmart at 1304 West Main in Robinson. And I understand Walmart also helped sponsor the D.A.R.E. program here in the town. That is correct. Wow. Walmart has always been a superb uh, uh, contributor to anything we need. We just go out there, speak with them, and they usually uh, help us out. Well, we're happy to have Walmart as our sponsors and the rest of our proud sponsors out here. And we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, we're back at the 1994 Hoop Fest where we have the Dream Team and the... Let's see here, we got the, who's next? All right, where are we at here? Okay, well, uh, started the game about a minute ago. I think we got who's next is leading the game by two to one with a slight audio problem there. Uh, just to tell you who we got, who's next is out here. They're from Palestine. The team consists of Andy McDaniel, uh, Bob Wagoner, and Matt Wright. Right now, uh, who's next has the ball. And they're going to put it up for an easy single, which I think they're going to take the lead. Like I say, I'm not too sure on my score. I got a three to one lead. Okay. And uh, we also got the dream team. That's uh, Andy Belvin, uh, Aaron Borchette, Alan Stoltz, and Les. Uh, Les Baker. Baker, that's what that is. All right. And uh, we're having a good time out here, and I think everybody's having some good ball. Hey, it looks like. Uh, okay, that's. Uh, Dream Team's going to take the ball now. Belvin at the top. He's going for the inside. Oh, oh, oh. that was a nice conflict. Oh. We got any injuries? No. I don't know, but that looked like that hurt to me. Yeah, that definitely hurt to me. I think we had uh, 
Bob Wagner in on that collision. Bob Wagner is a teacher over in Palestine, but okay. uh, didn't get the ball back to who's next. No, it's going to oh, be the... Oh, Baker lost the ball there, and it just rolled by our camera. <laughs> Dream team, they're going to give that over to uh, who's next from Palestine. McDaniel, Wagner, and Wright. Wagner's going to take the ball out the top of the key. Say I got a score of 3-2 to by my score books. I hope I'm right. I lost about a minute's worth of the game here trying to get up on the audio, so. Well, we'll just, we'll just we'll hang just, you later, okay? Okay. And yeah, that's Bob a, Wagner's gonna take in, he's gonna try to go, he's gonna hand it back out to uh, Matt Wright. Matt Wright's gonna lose the ball and they're gonna turn it over to the Dream Team. The Dream Team, now the, the score is what now? Three to two, three to two, I got who's next up by one point, so. All right. Who's next is uh, the local team here. Uh, they're from Sumner. Okay. Speaking with them before the game, they said they were from Sumner. And uh, Belvin okay, Bob, had it. Bob Wagner's going to get it. He's going to get over to Andy McDaniel. Andy McDaniel, a nice scoop. Doesn't get it to go. I think Stoltz he wanted to foul. Stoltz at the top. And it's uh, Stoltz for two. Yeah, I think Andy uh, McDaniel wanted that foul last time. He kind of looked at the player that hit him, but he's going to realize he's going to have to call him. I think uh, Stoltz there is a big Michigan fan. <laughs> yeah. He's easy to pick out. Yeah, that's definitely true. Wagner's going to go over to Wright. Wright's going to do a spin, try to take it in, and he's going to get an easy point. All right. Matt Wright's a pretty good sized lad underneath there. We got Stoltz at the top here, and he hands it off to Borchette. Borchette to Stoltz. Stoltz for two, and it's rejected. Wagner's going to take it out. He's going to get back to Matt Wright. Matt Wright's going to go easy. I think, uh, oh, looking for the two. Oh, and that's out. It was right there. I seen what they wanted. McDaniel was sitting all alone at the top of the key. I think he wanted two points, but I think he was trying to shoot or just wasn't that good of a pass. Borchette. Oh. What do we have? What do we have? Uh, he's going to call a foul on that one. Okay, your offensive player. Well, we got a little bit of discrepancy here. I think uh, the Dream Team wants the foul. Well, who's next is going to end up with it? McDaniel feeds it in to Wagner. Wagner turns it around. He's going to feed over to Matt. Got the height in there. Oh, oh he's got and a little it, bit of competition. Melvin comes up with the rebound, and he puts up an air ball. Okay, that's going to go over to the uh, who's next, our team from Palestine. Okay. Let's see, and he's up for two. Wagner's going to shoot for a deuce, and okay. he gets that. He gets it. We see a, good, a lot of good outside shooting uh, from the who's next team. All right, we have uh, Belvin. He's on the inside with an open lane. Oh, oh. rejected. I, I'd say they're beating that guy. They're treating him mean underneath there. That's why he's taking it in. I think he's in it on top of the court. So I, th I think he needs to but keep to not, the outside there. They're not going to give him an easy shot. Let's see, that's uh, Borchette. Borchette for one, and it's another air ball. Dream Team there is putting up uh, quite a few air balls there today. Yeah. They're not going to score any points that way. That's definitely true. Okay, Wagner's going to go out. He's going to go for another deuce. He's going to come Stoltz. up a little bit short. Stoltz with the rebound. Oh, oh there's rejected. Matt Wright with the. Stoltz back in uh, to Belvin. Let's see, Belvin's going to bring it over to Wagner. Wagner's going to try to take it. Oh, good dish off, good dish good off. Good dish off. I think he wanted to go to Matt Wright at the beginning, but he went ahead and took it all the way to the hole. It's going to give him a score of 7-3 to three by my score. All right, Stoltz with the ball at the top of the key. Oh, oh, that was nice. Just slap that right out of there. Probably here, uh, while we're watching our game, we're pretty close. You can hear music in the background. We try to provide a little bit of entertainment to the people who's here while they're waiting. Definitely, we got plenty of people out here today. Stoltz for uh, two, and it's good. Everywhere you look around the court here, if you look, there's uh, there's people watching and uh, family and friends, and uh, just a great. Stoltz had the uh, rejection That's there. It. Matt Wright. Uh, oh, oh. In for the layup. Andy McDaniel with a good layup. Good follow through. I think he got a couple fouls on him, but he made the basket, so it really doesn't matter. It's going to give them an 8-5 to five lead. Daniel with the rebound. He's going to bring it back out, uh, which is a rule of the game. Got to bring out top of the key. Stoltz is on him. And oh, he's, oh, oh, easy shot. Easy shot. Hold on, we got another basketball just rolled okay. into the court there. They're going to go ahead and score that point. It's going to give them a score of a 9-5 to five, uh, whenever they do get a dead ball like that or a ball that rolls from a That's Baker to, court. Baker at the top there. Just hand it off to Borchette. Borchette to Belvin. Uh, Baker's got it. He's on the inside. Oh. oh. Matt Wright gives him a piece of that back. Oh. Oh. 
Matt Wright no just look. shot that right out of here. No look pass. Bob Wagner starts that, gives Matt Wright a no look pass, but he just wasn't quite set where he was going to go. So Matt Wright, Wright just wasn't in a good position. Forchette to Belvin. Belvin's on the inside. Oh, that ball just went right out of here. I say he tried to take it a hole again. I think he got a couple elbows or something there again because uh, he leaned over there on the outside and I think he was hurting a little bit. So and I think the, the who's next team is just uh, putting it in the face today. Wagner out there with the side. Got uh, Matt Wright. He's looking for a spot on the inside uh, behind the back pass. Oh, he's going to go ahead and take it. That was a nice Gives move. Gives him a single. Nice move right there around uh, Andy Belvin. It's always a lot harder. I might commentate or say something here. It's always a lot harder because Hoosnacks is only playing with three players. They don't have a sub, so they're going to have to play the entire 20 minutes or 20 points, you know, with no relief. So it kind of gets hard on a person. A Baker to Belvin. Belvin for the shot. Not good. McDaniel's going to come up with the board. Matt Rice going to look like he's going to take a deuce. He's open, he's and he's got open. the deuce. Nobody Nothing giving there. him any pressure on that shot. Nobody at all. I see who's next leading by a score of 12 to 5. Uh, may vary just a point or two, but I think. Forchette uh, working his way on the inside, get oh. rejected. Andy McDaniel gives him a piece of that back. Then uh, Bob Wagner, I think we're going to score that one up for two. I wasn't able to see his placement on his feet, but I'm going to give him two, and we'll find out at the end uh, if he was two or one. There's Stoltz. Oh, he tried to get it on the okay. inside, but just who's, didn't make it who's next when to get that ball back because uh, the dream team touched it last somebody tried to feed it off into the middle Stoltz tried to give a pass off in the middle it just didn't work out so Wagner's going to start out at the top of the key trying to put their two-point game together doesn't get that one to sink Let's see what we're going to do here that's Baker with the ball he's going to drive for the inside doesn't oh. get it. For those of you that are just joining us you're uh, watching the 1994 Hoop Fest Dare fundraiser at uh, what park is it? This is Washington Park. Washington Park in Robinson, Illinois. So I hope you all are enjoying the game. I'm Joel Kovis and I have uh, David Markway. David Markway with me and uh, we're we're having a real good time. Hey, Matt Wright's got the ball outside here. He's looking to go around his defenders. Defenders going to touch the ball and knock it out. So they're going to get the ball back out to the top of the key. Bob Wagner's going to take it out for him. I look for him to try to go for another two if they can. Oh, Andy McDaniel's not with the game. Stoltz for the Florida. shot, and it's good. Stoltz with two. You're going to have to watch out for Stoltz. Stoltz has sunk, uh, sunk three two-pointers now, so you can tell he's fired up. He's he's wanting to get back in the game. Andy McDaniel's got the ball back out oh, to Stoltz Wagner. Going he's for got the a, steal. Oh, good pass. Good pass over to Matt. He's got the height, and he's going to sink it for an easy, easy point. We got some real intense basketball players, good basketball players. So it seems like from all most of the high schools and colleges around here. Right, we have them all from all variations, college players, high school players, whatever you want. Baker went for the drive to get it. Looks like we're going to give the ball back to uh, the dream team. Andy McDaniel is going to get it over. Foul there. Uh, I'm not too sure. I didn't catch what happened on that one. Baker's got it at the top. Off to Stoltz. Stoltz. I think they're looking at Stoltz for the two-point play. They need it. Stoltz is getting heavy pressure. Off to Brochette. Brochette at the top. He drives into the inside for quick spin. Oh. And a lot of hands there, a lot of hands, but I think he's going to draw the foul, so they're going to get that one back. Brochette with the ball. Off to Baker. Baker for two, and it's not good. Andy McDaniel's going to come up with the rebound. He's going to go over to right. Turn around. Wright's going to bring it in. Doesn't. Got his own rebound. A little bit of confusion right there. I think Baker called something. He looked at the court monitor. Court monitor shook his head, and I think they're deciding who it went out on. Now, some of these court monitors, they, they know their ball. Serious right. ball. Serious ball. That's part of it. You really got to know the game to be able to court monitor. So they're going to give the balls back to who's next now. Try to get it in Andy, Andy McDaniel. He had one on the back, but he's still going to sink that one. Got them having a score of 16, Dream Team 9. So down by seven points. Dream Team's going to come up with seven. Stoltz of the ball for two, and he didn't get it. Wagner with the rebound. Borchette out path. at the top of the key, back to Stoltz. Stoltz for two, and oh. it's good. Stoltz is a real good time shooter. He's, uh, He's hot on the twos out there. Dream Team's going to have to go ahead and put this one in the books and, and, and really start guarding Stoltz. 
see what they do and the inside mm. and it's for one good turnaround jumper good turnaround short uh, jumper by Andy McDaniel for a single see Borchette with the ball at the top of the key off to Stoltz Stoltz getting some conflict there he's on the inside off to Baker Baker can't hold on Borchette oh. gets it and he gets it rejected and it's out Borchette uh, got that one fed back to him by Andy McDaniel uh, Andy McDaniel touched last, so they're going to give the ball back to the Dream Team now. Now it looks like we have several variations officers here today. From Borchette went for the two from the Corrections and from the Robinson Police Department and the Sheriff's Department. Right, we have a little bit of everybody floating around. We got some uh, Correctional people here. We've got some Robinson Police Department. We got some Crawford County officers. Also, uh, I'd like to put in a little plug for MedStar and thank them because we've got. Uh, Paramedics out here with the heat and the basketball players. We got any injuries? We got them to take care of them. So great. All right, Stoltz to the ball. He's looking for that two, but didn't get it. Hey, Wagner's got the ball now at the uh, outside the three. He's going to give it over to McDaniel. McDaniel's going to go for a short oh, jumper over Stoltz. Stoltz eats it. Okay, right. I think we got it. Hold injury. on, we got an injury. We got an injury. Okay, we should be calling the uh, ball dead here. Stoltz with an injury. Okay, we should stop the clock right here. Okay, we're gonna stop the clock. We're gonna find out how serious that injury is. For it looks like he came down on an ankle pretty bad. But for right now, your Walmart Robinson, or your, your Robinson Walmart is proud to be in Crawford County and is pleased to help sponsor the telecast of today's Hoop Fest 94 for the Robinson Police Department's DARE program. Shop at your Robinson Walmart at uh, 1304 West Main in Robinson. Also, for your insurance needs, stop at the Palatine Insurance Agency and ask for agents Kent or Rad Burkett or Steve Atwood. That's Palatine Insurance Agency at 101 South Main in Palestine. And also the Park Mark. Um, the Park Mark is a convenience store that is open 24 hours a day to serve your needs. The Park Mark has a great deli and many grocery items to choose from. While there, don't forget to fill in the gas tank and gas too. <laughs> That's a Park Mark at 900 South Cross Street in Robinson. All right, we got several great sponsors out here, including the Park Mart and. Um, Next time, you know, you get hungry or you need some gas, go see them over there at the Park Mart. All right. Um, it looks like we have a postponement. Is that? Yeah, Stoltz, uh, Stoltz come down. Andy McDaniel went to go shoot a short jumper. Stoltz uh, jumped up, tried to guard him. Uh, he must have came down on his ankle wrong. When he came down, he just immediately let out a cry of pain, and his teammates just helped him off the side. We've got MedStar Ambulance personnel now over on the uh, right of us trying to take a look at him and see what type of injury he's got. Maybe he's going to have to possibly go out and get an x-ray. Definitely, you know. So we're returning back out on the court now and see if we can continue play. Okay. Now they did have a substitute. Okay, so um, they had four people out here uh, as well as a substitute so they can continue the game. Right. And it looks like we're about ready to get underway here. Hopefully still to be all right. We'll, we'll check with him and find out what's going on here in a few. Hey, Andy McDaniel's going to start out plays and we'll come back up to Wagner. Wagner's going to try to take it to the hole for an easy dish for a single. Okay, I was off a point. That uh, They had 19 prior. That's going to give them 20, so that's going to give who's next from Palestine, Illinois, a win, and they're going to continue on in the winner's bracket. I want to congratulate who's on next, and uh, we're going to continue here in a few minutes. Hopefully... Uh Alan Stoltz will be all right. Yeah, we hope so. Well, we're going to have to go check on him in a few minutes. Uh, beginning June 27th, make reservations for unique dining experience in an unusual setting of Steve Meadows Full Cart at the Watermelon Patch at 217 Main in Palestine, featuring entrees of pork, Acapulco, Beef Wellington, and Chef's World Famous Caesar Salad. For reservations, call 586-2312 beginning June 22nd. That's 586-2312 at the Watermelon Patch in Palestine at 217 Main in Palestine. South Main in Palestine. You're gonna have to check that out, Dave. Okay, I didn't even know that existed or was gonna start back up. But yeah, uh, well, now you know, you have to make your to reservations, aren't you? Anyway, well, we're getting underway here with another game and we'll be right back.
All right, we're back at the 1994 Hoop Fest. I'm Joel Kovas with uh, David Markway. David Markway here, and we're getting ready to start this thing off. Okay, well we've got we got two teams here. Uh, we got McDonald's uh, taking on Jamaica number one. Whoa! Oh, hit the thing. We're gonna have to stop and straighten up the basket. Uh, both these teams we took at uh, took a look at a little bit earlier. Both of them lost their original game or their first game into the uh, bracket. Both of them went in the losers bracket. So the loser of this game here is going to be finished early today. All right, they get to go home and go to lunch just yeah. like we need to. Right. All right, that's Troy Young at the top there with the ball. See what he's going to do. Okay, Troy Young is going to take, uh, see. Troy to uh, see who he's going to pass. He's going to take, gonna take the deuce, and he got it. He's going to start out with the deuce, or the deuce is going to give them a uh, two to nothing lead. Bill Strain is going to come out the top of the key. Now, Bill's an exceptional player here today, folks. He's just really moving and hustling. He's going to try to follow up with the deuce also. He doesn't get it. All right. Dirk Sheridan is going to come up with the board to Murphy. Bill Strange has got it to Murphy. Murphy's going to turn around and try to hook it. All right, that's uh, Malone on the outside. For two, didn't get it. Uh, all right, now we have uh, Wagner uh, okay. to. Let's see here. I think McDonald's got the ball back, trying to get our players sorted out. <laughs> okay, let's see, a deuce there. All right, uh, that's uh, Wagner. Wagner over to. Uh, Troy Young. Yeah. All right, now McDonald's got the ball. Okay, McDonald's got the ball. Now we got, uh, see Murphy, Murphy out to Strange. Strain's going to give it in to Dirk Sheridan. Dirk Sheridan's going to take the shot. Dirk Sheridan's the one with no shirt on. He just took a shot there, put up an air ball. So that way he's going to give the ball to Jamaica number one. All right. Now we have uh, David Malone with the ball to Wagner. Wagner's up. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Murphy's going to come up with the board. He's going to look for... He's looking for somebody outside. He's going to give it over to Strain. Strain's running around. Tries to get a little fake back out to Murphy. Murphy's still going to look for a player. Dirk's going to come around and try to help him out. Strange is still moving around. He's going to take a oh, short Oh, rejected one. by Wagner. Right. Rejected. Wagner got a piece of that one, gave it back, but Strange got the ball back. He hands it over to Murphy now. Let's see what Young's going to do here. He's going to try looking. to oh, give a little, little ball fake there, put it up, and uh, shot a bullet up there. Wagner with the ball. Oh, Strange is going for it. Wagner still's got it. All right, he's over to Baxter. Baxter's up. Oh, just right across. Oh, oh. Oh, Baxter, he's going to have a save, but uh, I think we're going to call that. I think we're going to call, call that ball dead. Yeah, I think so. I think that was good dead ball. Hey, Murphy's going to start out, uh, got fed in, turn around, look. He's going to give a short one. He's going to go over the basket. All right, it's Baxter with the return there to Young. Young's up for two, and oh. it's good. Jamaican, uh, Jamaican number one starting out with a 4 nothing lead. McDonald's has got themselves a little bit of a hole started. Bill Strange going to start out top of the key outside the three-point line. Going to hand it in to Dirk Sheridan. Dirk kind of lost control. He's going to turn around. I think he went to go to Bill Strange, but he said, I'll just go ahead and try to give it a shot. Wagner to Young. Young into Baxter. Baxter's up. No, no good. I think we had a foul call on I that. I think we did, too. Get it back to Jamaican number one. It's kind of hard with the headphones on. You can't hear who's <laughs> calling fouls, so you just kind of kind of guess. Baxter in to Troy. Wagner. Wagner to Young. Young put the shot up. Okay, Murphy's got the ball outside on the uh, right now. He's going to give it over to Dirk Sheridan. Let's see. Okay. Murphy's got it now. He's looking. Oh. He almost close, lost it there. Close to traveling, close to traveling, but he kept control of it. Wagner's on strange. It's in. Dirk Sheridan turning around, jumper. Not able to make it. Wagner with the save there. Baxter's looking hard to Young, to Wagner. Let's see what Wagner's going to do with it. Oh, around the back, and it was a fancy move, but he wasn't looking. Just heard him. Uh, Murphy's going to take that ball over. Dirk Sheridan's got it outside now. Looking to Bill Strange. He was wondering good feed. Uh, just didn't get the position to put the shot up the way he should have. Young came up with the ball. Over to Wagner. Strange knocks it out. There's Strange. He tries to save it, puts it back in play. Uh, Dirk Sheridan gets a hold of it for a single, doesn't get it. Now his teammate back. Murphy for a turnaround Wagner, hook shot. Wagner with it. the ball to Young. Young to Baxter. Baxter over to Wagner, right in the Sheridan's hands there. No look pass, but uh, problem team base, you start playing. Oh, Sheridan tried to get it on the inside. Well, Bill Strange with a steal. Oh. 
The ball's going back and forth today, folks. Wagner got it. He's he's blocking all these shots. Four to nothing lead. I've got Jamaican number one up. Okay, Young with the shot. Hey, Josh. Reput in by up. Baxter. Hey, Josh Baxter puts in a puts in a single, we'll give him a five to nothing lead. Dirk Sheridan's gonna come out to the top of the key. Let's see what's gonna be going on here. Jeff Munson, we got a sub in. Bill Strange is going to go out. Jeff Munson's going to come in. Dirk's going to take a long shot. He's, I think I seen him doing that in the game earlier, taking some long shots. He's about two or three foot outside the three point line. So. It's getting a little tired there, I think. All right, Baxter with the ball over to Young. Wasn't sure if that was meant for Young or Wagner, and Young for two. Young for two, so he's going to jump on that. It's going to give him a seven to nothing lead. Jeff Munson, I believe, is going to come out and take control of the ball at the top of the key and get the ball started. Okay, he passes in to Murphy. Murphy's going Oh, to Wagner got a piece of that one. Young out to Baxter. Baxter going in, up the line, and it's not good. Young with the rebound out to Wagner. Wagner, or Baxter on the outside. Young comes up with it. Young goes for the shot. Sheridan got a piece of it. Wagner's got the ball now at the top. See what he's going to do with it. Wagner to Baxter. Baxter looks over to Young. Young's on the inside. And that was a foul. Yeah, they're going to call a foul on that one, which brings the ball back out the top of the key. Troy Young's going to start it out. Young to Wagner. Wagner goes on the inside. He shoots. And it's not good. Hey, okay, Dirk Sheridan's got it over on the side. Jeff Munson sitting out here at the top of the key saying, give me the ball. <laughs> uh, here goes a deuce, four. All right, uh, he Sheridan's hit it. Sheridan's going to put McDonald's on the board for two points. So we got a seven to two score. McDonald's still down by five. That ball just went clear out of here. It's just, it, Is that from our court? Yeah. It's, How did it's, it get clear out of here? I don't know. It's on the other side. It just went off the other side of the court over there. <laughs> I look down and write that on my <laughs> score pad. Next thing I know, the ball's gone. Yeah, that happens. All right, it looks like uh, Jamaica One's coming up with the ball here. Young with the ball to Wagner. Wagner Wagner on the inside. Back at the top of the key to Baxter. Baxter to Young, Young on the inside, and it's good. Good feed, good feed into Troy Young on Josh Baxter's part. They're working it, they're really working it. They're staying off the outside too. They're, they're, they're working on the inside. I think that's where they're Big play action is. Oh, and Baxter got a piece of that one. Back out to Baxter. Baxter going for the easy layup, and he got it. Uh, he got a score of nine to two. Jamaica number one's uh, lead. McDonald's gonna be down by seven points now, needing to put some type of strategy or game plan together. Let's say they'll be finished for the day. Into Murphy. Murphy's gonna try to turn around and give it a short shot. Doesn't get the luck, doesn't get the fall. He's gonna get a rebound back. Oh, oh, Wagner stuffed it in his face. Wagner got a piece of that one, said, well, you got one shot, but I don't think you're gonna get two. You know, I, I often wonder, how do they come up with these names, you know? I mean. I don't know, it's always a lot of fun. Uh, the whole <laughs> tournament we played in, we've seen some, we've seen some pretty special names. <laughs> special names, I like that. All right, Wagner came up with it. Into Baxter, Baxter on the inside, oh, and he's got pass, it. Beautiful pass. I got talking about, got thinking about no look passes. Seen some teams trying some no look passes. Uh, you know, you got to know your players, got to know your team well to be doing stuff like that. They're not going to anticipate it. So Dirk Sheridan is going to start out at the top of the key. Uh, Wagner around. got his arm on it. Hey, Munson's still going to get that back. That's Sheridan. Sheridan's out there in downtown again. Sheridan. Murphy with the rebound. He's going to go in for a short one. Murphy just can't get anything to fall today. No, Wagner came up with it. See, Baxter's looking to the inside. He's a real inside player there, Baxter. Oh, over to Young. Okay, Dirk Sheridan got the ball back. He hustled for that one. It's been, actually been out on Troy Young since hit him last, but he got it back, so it doesn't matter. Munson's going to try to drive. He's going to go back out to Dirk. Dirk's going to try to go for a deuce. Dirk always puts up a deuce. <laughs> he likes that corner. He does. There. He does. It's just not his corner. Wagner with the ball to Baxter. Baxter's going for it. Oh. And it didn't fall. It's not quite a good shot on Josh Baxter's part. Just Bax wasn't quite have to the, have the body control there. Baxter's not a real it. outside shooter either. I think he's more of an inside man. There's Bill Strange. Bill's back in the game. Jeff Munson's going out now. 
Bill's going to try to work for the shot, try to take it in the hole. Oh, if that would have failed, that would have been a beautiful shot. But Murphy still got it for the for one. First single, so we got to score 10 to 3 now. McDonald's down by seven. Okay, Young. And he laid it Jay in there. Young. Young for a pair. It's going to give them a score to 12. Looked like he was almost on the line there from my point of view because I couldn't see the front of his foot, but I think they're going to give him, give him two for it. I think so, too. Okay, Murphy's going to be over here on the right side looking for a pass into the middle. He's going to go ahead and take the shot. Strange got position on the offensive board. Strange going to take two and eats it. Now Dirk Sheridan, he's going to come back around with it. Got Dave Malone all over him. All right, we're back out to Baxter. Baxter and Wagner. Oh. Okay, Wagner's going to go for a single. I score 13 to three. Jamaica number one up. McDonald's down by eight now. No, out down by 10. Okay, pass into Murphy. Lost a little bit of control, got it back. Looking for his players. Wagner wants, wants some of him, but he doesn't get shot. Bill Strange gets it off just in time. And gets, he got it. Gets him on the board again, so they got four now. All right, now we we just got a new player in. Okay, which one's that? Okay, we got Dave Malone now in the red shorts for Jamaica number one. Dave Malone. Okay, Dave Malone, which he just put up, uh, fed in the inside, and now he's got a point. Dave Malone looks like one of the taller players out there. Definitely, definitely. Hey, Murphy's got out. Murphy's going to take one from the oh, corner. Oh, Wagner got a piece of him. Wagner's getting a piece of everything today. <laughs> I definitely agree with that. I don't think he wants to go home early. He wants to play. He wants to get his money's worth out of the tournament. Definitely. Hey, okay, Bill Strange over there. He's caught up. He's nowhere to go, so he's going to bring it back out. Oh, nice now, pick. Top of the key. He's got a one-handed, look like a semi-sky hook something. But I just <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we won't name that one. Wagner's gone on the inside. He's oh, oh right into Strange. Offensive foul. They offensive. An offensive foul. That's okay. an offensive foul. That's something there that uh, we talked about in the uh, meeting a little bit earlier. Offensive fouls aren't. They're kind of odd, but Jason's a good sport about it. He knew it happened, so he's going to give it to him. A little this. handshake there, and you know, no real hostility out there. That's good. Strange went in, he said himself, Jason tried to bring the ball in and he just hammered Strange and Jason knew he did it, so he let him have it. And, but they turned around the ball and gave the ball back. Baxter Malone, Malone for two, but it's not even close. Nothing but air. <laughs> Nothing but air. Okay, Bill Strange gonna start out top of the key. He's gonna look for Murphy on the inside. They're gonna back out to Strange. Almost loses the ball. Murphy trying to set up a little bit of a pick for him, getting screen. Murphy's going to be out in the corner. Strange is all out. I'd be feeding Strange to two. Dirk Sheridan oh. everywhere. Oh, well, they, he, uh, he, who he, are they going to give that to? I see nothing but ball. No, there. they're going to give it to uh, uh, Jamaican they're gonna, one. I don't think he got fouled on that one. I'm not. But they're going to. I don't know. Let's see yeah, what the they're going to give it back to uh, McDonald's. They're gonna I give see it back nothing, to but ball, nothing but ball, but they're going give to it, give it back to McDonald's. Murphy going to bring it out to Strange. Strange is going to bring it over to Dirk Sheridan. Dirk's going to take the two, and he can't get that one to fall Wagner either. comes up with the rebound. Wagner's at the top. Let's see what he's going to do with it. Oh, Strange. Strange. There's that hustle on Bill Strange's part I talked a little bit earlier. He sneaks in there. He's one of those guys that sneaks in, but he couldn't control the ball on the dribble. A little bit upset with himself. Baxter for two, and it's good. Nothing but net. Okay, gives him a score of 16-4. Four more points for the Jamaica number one, and they're going to continue on in today's win, uh, losers bracket and see if they can't make their way out of it. Goes Murphy up high. Around. Okay, oh. he just can't get anything. He's got his own board, and he's going to go for a single. And for those of you who are just joining us, this is the 1994 Hoop Fest at Washington Park, and I'm Joel Kovas, and I've got uh, Dave, Markway. Dave Markway here with me, and we're having a real good time out here. If you want to come out and join us, we have plenty of seating. Um, if you don't mind sitting on the grass, come out here and join us, and uh, we'll be fine. Hey, Murphy's got the ball now, trying to work for a position. Turn around, try to give it a little bit of a hook shot, wasn't able to go. I see some tired guys out there. I do too. I see some fatigue guys. It's getting hot. You know, um, and it's just uh, it's fatigue. And after playing one basketball game, I'm, I'm about dead. Baxter for one. Well, that's one thing you got to realize. And this thing here, just to talk about it, it's hot. Uh, you know, you got to be in shape to do this kind of stuff, or it's going to take a toll on you. That's why you find out that uh, four o'clock, you see some real athletes out here making it to the championship games because they've worked hard for it all day. 
It's not only a game of skill, it's a game of endurance. Wagner into Malone. Baxter comes up with it for one. Okay, that's 17-2-6 now, three more points, and they're gonna put this one in the books. I don't think I lost track of a point there. We're gonna have a substitution back in. Munson's gonna replace Dirk, uh, Dirk Sheridan. Start right. out the top of the key, bring it around, gonna give it to Murphy. Murphy's gonna go ahead and put it up. He's gonna get nothing but air, so they're gonna turn it over to Jamaican number one. Jamaican number one. That reminds me of that, what is that, that cool running, that bobsled there. You know, that's the Jamaican number one. Well, they was asking him how they tried to come up with that name, and uh, they said, how in the world did you come up with the name of Jamaican number one? And I never did hear the answer. I should have <laughs> stuck around for that. But Murphy puts it up. Munson's got a board, doesn't get it. Baxter Bill tips Str it out. Bill Strange going to go ahead and come up with the ball. I look for Strange. He is going to take a deuce. Bill Strange, oh, he tries to get a tip in, wasn't able to do it. Uh, Baxter back out to Malone. One on the inside, and he comes up with his own. Oh, he was trying to get it to Wagner, didn't make it. And Strange just put up another one. <laughs> Wagner got a little piece of that one go. He stopped that one from going in. It's going up. I seen some fingers hit it, and it just threw it off just enough. It came up short. One at the top to Wagner. Went right through Wagner's fingertips. He still came up with the ball, though. He's just kind of leisurely walking that around right now. Well, they've got a good, comfortable lead. They can kind of work it a little bit. Wagner on the inside for one. It, good play there. They just look for the open man, got the man underneath to go for the easy single. Though McDonald's right now is struggling, trying to figure out what they can do, if they can try to pull themselves back into the game. Strange is going to run around, try another one in <laughs> one-handed shots, and just wasn't very lucky about it. And Dirk on the outside there is the substitute. He decided to shoot it in anyway. Wagner, Wagner in, and right. he's got one. Okay, got a score to 19 to six right here. <laughs> one more point uh, in Jamaica, number one. will put this one in the books, and they'll wait for their next game. Dirk's gonna go for two. He Munch just is with rebound. Bill Strain's gonna be back up. Dirk's gonna He's gonna go for another again. two. Wagner knew it, too. There's Jason Wagner again with another piece of the ball. Malone to uh, Wagner. Wagner up for one, and, and it's good. That's a ball game, man. What uh, Jamaica That's number it. one will advance in the winner's bracket? No, they're, they're, my score's off again. <laughs> Every time I think I got score, I must have missed a basket in there somewhere. Uh, I that's I can't a, be off one. But they must have a score of 19 right now. <laughs> Malone's going to go for two. And he didn't get it. He did not get it. It looks like uh, we got some team in uniform preparing over here. It'd be a little easier. They've got, uh, they got some teams come out here with all kinds of uniforms. Some people just playing shorts and some of them come out with the full blue uniforms and everything. Bill Strange looking for some help. Munson's going to look up. Going to try to take the shot. Dirk Sheridan uh, tried to take a behind the backboard shot and it just didn't work. He just tried to get something off there. That's what he was after. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if my score, how far I was off of my score, if they make this one and put it away now. All I right. I can't be off more than Baxter, one. Baxter Malone, knows. Malone into Wagner. Wagner okay. for the easy one. Okay, that's ball game. That's what I thought. Okay, that made it 20. No, well, Jason Wagner started. <laughs> I'm lost on my score. All right, that's all right, Dave. We'll, we'll know when it's over here in a minute. I say you have another hanging for me. There, there goes, we go. There goes Bill Strange for two. Well, like I said, I've, I've had him at 20 at two baskets ago, but, uh, you know, my scoring and their scoring could have a conflict in it. Baxter on the inside. Baxter's up for the easy one. Well, the monitor, okay. you know, could be off there too, Dave. Okay, that... That, that's 20. You know, that that's is too, too. Sometimes a monitor, I did that last year, got lax a couple times, and I missed a couple points, and they scored a couple more, and they had to. So Jamaica number one is going to advance in the loser's bracket. McDonald's is going to go home. They're going to be finished for the day. All right. We're here today at the 1994 Hoop Fest. I'm Joel Kovas, and we have Dave Markway. All right. And uh, we're bringing it to you with uh, Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. All right. The Hoagland Chiropractic Clinic with Dr. Robert Hoagland and Dr. Todd Hoagland, serving Crawford County for over 25 years, proudly sponsors the Robinson Police Department's D.A.R.E. program, Hoop Fest 94. Hoagland Chiropractic Clinic specializes in industrial injuries, sports injuries, and workman compensation injuries. Call Hoagland Chiropractic Clinic in Robinson at 544-2064. 
In honor of the many years of service at Crawford Memorial Hospital and her involvement in the community, there will be a tea for Ruth Carter on Thursday, June 16th from 2 to 4 in the Van Tassel room at the Crawford Memorial Hospital. The public is invited, so come on out to the Crawford Memorial Hospital Thursday, June 16th and help celebrate Ruth Carter Day. Best wishes to Ruth from uh, Crawford Memorial Hospital. Well, that was really nice. It was. And, you know, no honor, honor one of their own. That's really, really good. And also, the Day's Inn is pleased to support the Robinson Police Department in its efforts to keep the kids drug-free through their D.A.R.E. program. The Day's Inn is located on West Main Street in Robinson. For reservations, call 800 Day's Inn. You know, that's great, Dave, is to hear all these supporters out here of the D.A.R.E. program and uh, some of the people that are just tuned into the televisions there may not know that uh, that you're an officer with the Robinson Police Department but uh, having this many people out here for the support has got to make your job just an incredible effort you know it does. It it just does. saying you know this many people want to keep this many people off of drugs keep our kids off of drugs you know that's just great anyway we're going to get on with the action here in just a few minutes and we'll be right back All right, we're back at the 1994 Hoop Fest, uh, sponsored by the D.A.R.E. program here. And right now I got uh, Todd Gill from the Defenders. Is that right, Todd? That's correct. Okay, great. And uh, you guys have won uh, two, two years in a row. That's right. Yes. Okay, how do you keep doing it? Um, we try and base our attack on a, a defensive structure. That's what we got our name Defenders from. We're defending champions for one, and the other we base our attack on defense. And in three-on-three -three tournaments, and not a lot of teams are structured on defense. They're more structured on offense. And uh, with our defense, we can keep the other team, the opponent, from scoring too much on us, which allows us to win a lot of games. Yeah, I, I saw it earlier. Congratulations on the win today already. Thank you. Uh, you got another one. game coming up in a few minutes, which we will be covering. Now, tell me a little bit um, about yourself and about uh, the other guys on the team. How would you all get started doing this? Well, Dan Gallion and I, he's one of the players. Uh, we grew up together. We've been playing basketball since we were about fifth grade together. And we played through high school. When we were seniors in high school, Jeff Barker, he's a, the head varsity coach here at Robinson, he moved in, and uh, he was our head coach. And uh, after our senior year, uh, Coach Barker asked me to help coach basketball with him. So I've been an assistant basketball coach at Robinson High School for the last two years. Uh, the first year this, this tournament arrived to town, me, uh, Coach, and uh, Kevin Newell played together. He was another teammate from Robinson High School. And uh, Larry Fairbanks, he's a friend of Coach. He, uh, they gr both graduated from Shelbyville High School in 85. Okay, do you have a game plan for winning this again? Are you going to be you going to be our champs again? What do you think? Uh, we have intentions of it. You have intentions uh, yeah. of it. How do you plan on getting there? Uh, we'd like to just win the next three games. And uh, our first year, we lost our first game and had to win the next six. And that uh, coming through from the consolation rounds, a really, really tough thing to do. You play a lot of games and you play back to back and. You have to be in really good shape, and in this hot sun, it, it's tough to do. Uh, definitely. We got a little bit of a cool breeze, so I mean, that must be a little bit of uh, relief for you. Um, do you have family and friends out here today? or? Um, right now, I don't have anyone out here. My sister lives in Terre Haute, and my uh, mom, she's uh, out running around somewhere. I haven't seen her up. She's coming up here later today. I've moved to St. Louis to start chiropractic college, so I'm just home for the weekend, basically. Oh, I see. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of friends out here. Um, I see Matt Parker playing on one of the courts over there. He, uh, I helped coach him the last two years, and it's nice to see them playing, and, and they come watch us, and we watch them, and it's kind of a neat activity. You get to see all these kids out playing basketball. It's a real nice thing to see. It definitely is. Now, now you're, you're, I take it you're in support of the D.A.R.E. program out here. Yeah, Are you trying yeah. to help raise money for that? Or? Yeah, I, I like to come out and support the program. It, uh, we get in friendly competitions. Sometimes it gets a little heated, but uh, all in all, when the game's over, everybody's friends and it's it's just a neat thing to be able to compete against people from all around the area now do you play basketball in college or is it just a, a hobby i have intentions of uh, logan chiropractic school has a college basketball team i'd like to play for them in the next three years i'll be attending school there but i, I attended lincoln trail college my first two years and uh, played golf for them for the Lincoln Trail golf team. Golf to bas basketball, yeah. you know, it's, it's a little more contact in basketball. Yeah. Huh? All right, well, good luck to you today, um, Todd, and uh, hopefully 
I'll be talking to you after the last game. Thanks That'd a lot. That'd be great. Thanks. All right. Just. Welcome back to the 1994 uh, Hoop Fest, and we're in Washington Park in Robinson, Illinois. And uh, coming up, we have a game against the uh, defenders playing uh, Steve Pentel Construction. All right, I'm Joel Kovas, and I have Dave Markway uh, with us today, and uh, we're about ready to get underway here. The Crawford County State Bank is ready to handle all your banking needs. If you need some financial advice regarding loans or trust accounts, they're there to help. The Crawford County State Bank is an equal housing lender, member FDIC. All right, things are underway. Steve Pentel Construction is going to take the ball first. Okay, and uh, let's see here. Smith is fighting for it. Okay. Oh, looks like we have... Uh, looks like uh, we're going to have the defenders going ahead. Looks like we had a jump ball situation. The defenders are going to take the ball. Galleon's going to take it out the two-point line. Give him the first shot of the uh, game. It's back to we uh, Weimer up. into uh, Marvin Smith's uh, hand. Marvin Smith and Marvin Smith in for one. Okay, Steve Pentel Construction is going to take a take the lead one to nothing. Uh, just to clue you in, the defenders. We watched them a little bit earlier. They are the two-year defending champs of the 18 to 24 uh, age bracket. They're here for a third year, hoping that they can uh, make it three in a row. And also, as you know, we just talked to, to Todd, and um, he seemed pretty confident that they were going to take it home again. Well, we hope so. They're a good team. Uh, Larry Fairbanks, got, got Jeff Barker, the team captain there. He's going to go for two. Doesn't get it to fall. Pentel Construction is going to get it back. Okay, Chris Pentel over to uh, Weimer. Weimer up, and no good. Yeah, I think Pentel Construction is going to knock that out. You think? Uh, we got who consists of this defenders team. We've got Dan Gallion, Larry Fairbanks, uh, Todd Gill, and Jeff Barker, all from Robinson. Gallion's going to bring it out to Fairbanks. Fairbanks into Barker. Bar Barker's looking for an open man. He's going to go back to Fairbanks. Fairbanks out to Gallion. Back out to Barker. Still outside the three. Little ball fake there. Scoop dish in. And, and he get got it point. in. He got it in. We're seeing some a lot of a tense action out here. Intense action. These, uh, these teams are hustling. Man. As the game goes on, the day goes on, you're going to see it get a lot tenser. Weimar, oh, Weimer was trying to get it to uh, Smith and overshot it there. Let's see. Weimer to Smith. Smith on the outside. Back out to Pintel. Pintel's got it. He's in. Uh, passes it in to Smith, and Smith is up and under and gets it. Smith's going to put in a single for a... Give him a one-point lead over the defenders. Yeah, Barker's going to come out. He's going to go for two. He's going to be a little bit off on that one. Okay, Smith comes up with it. Oh, Smith up. And no, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. Okay. Smith looked like he lost his balance a little bit on that last play. Yeah, I think he did. But it looks like the ball's going to go to uh, Pintel Construction. The way they're all uh, defenders are sinking in for the, to play defense. Well, the defenders are still uh, <laughs> sure the home team here. Everybody's yep. rooting for the defenders, so let's see if uh, Pentel Construction can uh, do it. Anyway, uh, Weimer to seed. Seed back to Weimer. Uh, good pass on the inside. All right. Pentel Construction jumping off to a little bit of an early lead here, three to one. Hopefully, we can see defenders come back and. Uh, Pentel just got picked. Little short jumper there by Jeff Barker. It's only going to be for a single, though. He had one foot inside the three-point line, so they're just going to be down by one point now. Pentel's going to take it out. Pat Seed's got it. Pat Seed for two, and it's good. Nothing but net. It'll be a 5-2 lead for Pentel Construction. Jeff Barker's going to take it out top of the key, bring it into Larry Fairbanks. Larry Fairbanks going to bring it back over to Dan Gallion. Oh, Dan almost took a shot. There's Barker again for a single. Oh, he, oh Gallion he got, with a big board. Gallion with a big board. He's going to try to bring it back in. Okay, Pentel picked it up. Okay, looks like we got a little bit of a call here. We're calling it out. Uh, defenders are going to get that ball back, luckily. Larry Fairbanks is going to bring it out the top of the key. He's going to feed it out to Gallion. Gallion's going to drive to the hole, oh, take it in. And, uh, and Weimer got a piece of that one. Got a piece of that one, but I think they're going to call it out. Hit his hand first and hit the rent, or hit the backboard, not the backboard, but the uh, post. So it's going to be called out. Jeff Barker takes it out, tries to feed it in. No, I don't know if that was such a great feed. Larry Fairbanks going to take it for a deuce. Not All right, right in there, Gallion uh, trying to hustle. 
I'm not sure who that was. That did. Patsy Dan Gallion tried to come in over there and, and uh, feed that ball in. All right, Pintel at the key to Seed. Seed's looking. He's on the inside and he, oh, he shoots, but he misses. All right, Weimer. Okay, Todd Gill, we got substitution in now. Todd Gill's in, uh, Dan Gallion sitting out. Pintel at the top. He's looking to go inside. Turn around, not a good shot. Oh, Weimer's fighting for it. Oh, 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 big, oh. Hustle, big hustle, I think. Those big hustle. Get... Uh oh, looks like uh -oh. we got a conflict <clears throat> on the okay. court. I think we're, like I said, this is what I talked about a little bit earlier. It's hot, these guys want to win bad, so they're getting a little bit of trash talking in there, a little pushing, a little shoving there on Todd Gill's part, and then uh, Joe Weimer. All right, it looks like uh, Weimer came up with it. Oh, okay, Todd Hill's going to seal that one back. He's going to give it free to Jeff Barker. Oh, he's going to feed it out. He didn't have no place to go with it. All right, seeds up, and Todd Hill's going to come back with the rebound. Bring it out to Fairbanks. Fairbanks going to go for two. Oh, Barker just a little bit short. Okay, Pintel came up with it. Let's see, he's going to. He's looking, he's looking, he hands it off to Seed. Seed goes for the shot and didn't get it. Gill Todd came Gill. up with the rebound. Back over to Fairbanks. Barker's gonna try to set, and there he goes. Trying to get it. himself in line. We've got a five to three score with uh, Pintel Construction leading. And I sense some host uh, hostility between uh, Todd Gill there and, uh, uh, fair, uh, and apparently Joe, Joe Weimer. Apparently Joe Weimer did something Todd Gill didn't like, so. Yeah, I, uh, I think we got the differences settled now, and we're just going to go ahead and continue on with the game. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. All right, Seed's got it. He passes into Smith. Smith's, Smith's looking. He, he drove hard, but he, Gill was just all over him. Okay. A lot of heavy defense in there in the middle, people pushing and shoving for trying to gain position. I think that's where a little bit of a dispute or conflict come from a little bit later between Weimer and Gill. They were just both shoving and trying to get position on one another and got a little bit rough. Seed to Smith. Smith on the inside, and no, no. Smith comes up with it out to seed, seed for two, and he didn't get it. Dan Gallion's got the board's gonna come out to uh, Larry Fairbanks. Larry Fairbanks trying to figure out he's gonna try to turn around. Give it back out to Gallion, set up a pick. Gallion's got a open oh, shot for Oh, Gallion was single. two. No, I guess no, he a, got a single. He did he get a single? The, he was inside the three on It was that. just barely. Barely. Just barely. So we got the uh, five to four score. Smith to seed. Seed's looking, trying to work it on the inside. He takes a shot, okay, didn't get it. He's going to come up with the rebound. They need a, need a point here to try to tie this game up. Todd with a little ball fake. Good oh, move, good oh, move. Oh, double coverage on Pintel and good. Smith. Todd Gill just got hammered on that play. Yeah, there was no way he'd get around that He one. was wide open, and they just come in. They wouldn't go give him the points. They hammered him. So Larry Fairbanks will drive in on that one. Tie the game up by my scoreboard, five to five. Of course, I don't know if I'll trust mine from <laughs> earlier, the luck we've had. So. Yeah, we're not sure if we're going to trust yours, David. Oh, Smith, we, Smith, bad pass. Bad pass by Smith over to Pentel. He was expecting Pentel to come on the inside and didn't get it. Hey, later. Jeff Barker's going to bring it out here at the top. He's going to bring it over to Gallion. Oh, oh good Smith. pass, good pass. Oh, oh rejected up. by uh, Seed bad, there. Bad Seed. Good All right, Pintel was trying to get on the inside. Smith came up with it. Smith is looking. He gets it over to Seed. Seed's for two. Didn't get short. it. Seed came up with it. He's up for two again and bounced it off the back. Okay, Larry Fairbanks got the ball now. He's going to go for a long two, long two. He had a couple feet to scare, spare. He's going to try it again. Barker dishes it out to him. That'll be good for two. Well, I guess two times is a charm, huh? That'll give the defenders a seven to five lead. Looks like we're picking up quite a crowd out here for the defenders. Everybody's kind of keeping their eyes on them. Yeah. All right, Smith comes up with it from Patel. Patel's on uh, inside there and he shoots and he miss. A yeah, gang comes over the back. It looks like Weimer is able to knock the ball out, but it's going back to Pintel Construction. Pintel Construction against the defenders. I know I am hot and wore out, and these guys have got to be exhausted, and they're not even halfway through the day yet. That yeah, we're, we're, we're just talking here. We're not we're not out there playing basketball. If we were, we'd be dead already. That's right. I think I'd be dead <laughs> by now. All right, Smith has got it to Pentel. Okay. Oh, Pentel tries to get it to Smith, and it's coming right at us. <laughs> okay. I thought we were getting a face full there. I got to th thank Chris Pentel on that one for saving us. 
However, no point scored. <laughs> Defenders got the ball now. Galleon's going to drive. Doesn't doesn't have any luck with that <laughs> and one. And Smith comes up yeah. with it. So just get the old adrenaline pumping there. Now, Waymar, I think, has come up with it. I think he got it. Okay, who are we going to give it to? I think we're going to go on an alternating possession here on the jump ball. So okay. This time it's going to be uh, Todd Gill, or the defenders, Todd Gill's going to bring it out. It's going to give it to Barker. Barker! And he's good. It's good for a single. He sings. Like I say, he had his foot on the line. I'm going to give him one. I don't know what the what the monitor's going to give him. but uh, Yeah, I think it was one. I, he, I pretty much saw I was looking at it. If he'd so. have been about a half an inch back, it'd been good for two. Smith so. the seed. Smith on the inside. Oh, it gets rejected. Yeah, rejected by Gallion. That was a nice rejection by Gallion. He he knew where the seed was going, and he, he took it back. <laughs> seed to Smith. Smith on the inside, and it looks like a uh, foul, maybe? Yeah, it looks like uh, Smith and Gill got uh, tied up in their legs a little bit. Gill helped him out with a good sign, a good sportsman. Weimer to Smith. Smith is looking. He passes out to Seed. Seed's up for two. Didn't get it. Smith got the rebound. Put it up, didn't get it again. Smith again and got rejected. Okay. I think we're going to have a foul call on that one on Todd Gill. So Pat Seed's going to take the ball back out on the top side. Marvin Smith got a little bit tied up underneath. Seed to Smith. Smith is up. Oh, oh, big board by Dan Gallion. He just come in there strong and just Smith took trying to get a hand ball. on it. Didn't and get it. That's two. It. He sunk it for two. Big play on Dan Gallion's part. He come in there and he took the board strong, took it back out behind the two-point line like he's supposed to and shot it and put him up by three. Or, oh, we're up by five now. Up by five. Defenders took a five-point lead on that Seed's one. Seed's got it to Pintel. Pintel's looking. He drives. He shoots and didn't get it. Pintel came up with it. He shoots again. Still didn't get it. There's Dan Gallion again responsible for the board. Jeff Barker's going to see what he can do with it. Dishes it off to Todd Gill. That's a beautiful pass. Beautiful, beautiful. That's Dan a sign of those guys playing together like they have the last three years. They know, they know where each other's going. They know where to look for them at. Dan Gallion's turned out to be an incredible player here today, folks. He's really hanging in there. He's going to go for another two. See if he's in it. Oh, in and out. No. Todd G Gill trying to follow him up. There he goes. He oh, goes rejected Gallion. by Weimer. Trying to get that pass out there and didn't didn't get it. Try to get the pass out to Gallion. Just didn't get it. Dan Gallion's going to bring it back out on the top side. Going to pass over to Larry Fairbanks. Jeff Barker, Todd Gill's going to take he's a He's got rest. the lane. Weimer's going to take it. Seed to Pintel. Pintel up for two, and it's good. Okay, Pintel's going to bring him up a little bit. Two points always help when you're down by five. Yeah, that, <laughs> I guess that's true. All right, let's see what. Uh, okay, Gallion's going to bring it over to Fairbanks. Gallion's going to bring it over. It's on the okay, inside. Okay, good play by Dan Gallion. Good play by Gallion. Nice he move, a really to, nice move there. He brings it up to 12. Gallion got up on that one. Score is 12 to 7. 12 to 7 in favor of the defenders. Okay, Pintel to Smith. Smith's looking. Oh, okay. He just he just nailed the around. Channel 10 camera guy there. <laughs> a little tough defense on uh, Fairbanks' part. He didn't have no place to go and just lost control of the ball. Uh, there's Fairbanks out for an easy two if he can sink it. Oh, Barker with a follow-up. Just he couldn't get it to go. Oh. Todd Gill's right there. Yeah, Smith was trying to get it out of there. Hey, Todd Gill, a little you know a little cooperation there. No hard feelings by Todd Gill there. Yeah, like I say, good sportsman since you like to see it. You seen a little problems between him and the Weimer a little bit earlier, but. But right now, Todd's showing his sportsmanship. Weimer's on the people. inside. Oh, oh Pintel comes up right there for one. That was a good good play. Todd Gill takes a swat at it, but he just just off just a little bit. Sounds like we got a lot of excitement back behind us is what we got. Yes, sir, we do. From the, the screaming and the yelling. Okay, we got Jeff Barker. It's going to bring the ball out on the top side for the defenders. He's going to pass it over to... Uh, Todd Gill. Todd Gill's going to go ahead and looks like he's going to drive lane. Good ball fake. Nice ball. move by Todd Gill. Smith comes up. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Todd Gill's going to bring it back again. I think we had a, had a foul there. I think uh, Smith put his arm around uh, Gill's neck there. Okay, Smith even showing a little good sportsmanship. Definitely. Smith realized it was good hustle on Todd Gill's part. I just noticed now Todd Gill's must have taken a good bruising because he's got uh, one elbow bleeding over there. So Definitely. We'll have to get those uh, paramedics fix him up here in a little while. Todd Gill's going to start over the side, bring it over Larry Fairbanks. Oh, Larry tried to get it up there. Smith came up with it, though. Smith is at the top. On the inside to Seed. Oh. Seed tries it, but I think. Okay. Uh, Barker hammers him. Barker yeah, hammers I think him that was a good foul. <laughs> he, he knew it. 
he knew it. He just wanted to make sure C didn't fall down, hurt himself. So Smith to Pentel. Pentel hands off to Smith. Smith is driving. He turns right into Gill. And I think that is that yeah. an offensive foul there? Well, Todd wanted one. Todd wanted an offensive foul there. But like I said, in the other game, we in our meeting this morning, offensive fouls are going to be tough to get. Okay. Seed to Pentel. Back to Seed. Seed for two. And it's air ball to Smith. Okay. Galleon got a piece of that one. Galleon's got the board now. He's tied up a little bit looking for some place to go. I think he's going to take that foul. He's going to take that one. Jeff Barker's going to take it out on the top side. Defenders are leading 12 to 8. 12 to 8, and the defenders are the favorite here tonight. Okay, Jeff Barker for two. He's live. I think he's running out of energy. I think he is. I know he's uh, he's very in shape. I think he just misjudged that one, didn't put enough into it. He's got to realize he's a little bit more tired than he was earlier. A seed to Pentel. Pentel's looking. He's into Smith. Smith's got double coverage. He tries to get out to Pentel. Pentel gets it, and he's in for one. Okay. Pentel Construction now reducing their deficit by one point, only down by three. Their deficit. Got the ball. <laughs> Barker's got the ball there. Oh, up and over Pentel, but he just couldn't get it. Seed comes up with it. He goes for two. Uh -oh. And he gets it. Seed is becoming a real good outside shooter. Okay, we're only down by one now. The Fender's only got uh, a one-point lead, so they're going to have to put something together, get their game moving. I think they need to look at the big strong man, Dan Gallion. He's playing some Strong ball here. There goes Jeff Barker trying to go in. Got his own board. Pentel's on him though. He just can't. Uh oh. Just can't uh oh. Get it. Pentel wants a foul. <clears throat> okay, did, did he get it there? Get it. Yeah, he's got it because he's bringing the ball out. Jeff Barker just didn't act like he very much agreed with that call, but he's he's going with it. Seed to Weimer, back to seed in on. in for two. Pentel jump for two. They just gave them a uh, one point lead. They're down from five at one point. Now they're up by one. So. Defenders are going to have to put something together. Good oh, pass nice by pass. Guide. Good pass. Oh, and by Weimer guide. thought he was going to shoot it. Okay. Seeds on him. Let's see what's the ball. There's the Galleon. Game. There's Galleon up for two. And nice There's shot by Galleon. Player. Defenders are going to jump up by one now. Okay, Weimer to Pentel. Pentel's holding it. He's not sure what to do. And he thought about shooting it. He tries to get it over to Weimer, but didn't make it. Okay, Todd Gill's going to take it strong to the hole. He's going to take it. He got it. Seed wanted that. He he wanted it. <laughs> he, grabbing that net there, he wanted it. Okay, All so right. That gives uh, the defenders a one or two point lead. Seed into Smith. Smith tries to get it up. Doesn't make it. He's uh he's hammered by Fairbanks. So they're going to get that one back out and get another shot at it. Let's try this again. Seed into Smith. Smith's looking. Smith's looking. Back out to Seed. Seed to Weimer. Weimer's looking. Tries to get it to the Seed. Does he do it? Yeah, Seed picked it up. Seed shoots. Oh! Okay, good tip by Todd Gill. He dishes it out and tips it out to Fairbanks. Todd Gill's going to come in. I look for a strong move. No, he's going to dish it back out to Galleon. Galleon loses his footing. Picks the ball back up. Good hustle by Galleon. Good hustle. Galleon's, like I said, turning into a real player here today. He's... So I knew he he was a key player. They're all excellent players, but I think Gallion's the one that's on now, so they need to look at him. Gallion's going to have the board on that one. He's going to go to Fairbanks. Fairbanks going to start to take off, but he had a double thought. Reverse layup. Oh, oh, oh what a shot. Oh, nice shot. They even moved the basket to, uh, on that one. I think we're going to have to straighten up the rim or something on that one. So. I think so, too. Uh, Fairbanks Smith. came in, gave a reverse layup, and had uh, Smith all over him, but uh, didn't help any. And Smith was trying to get his hands on it. He was really, he, he he was up there, but he just didn't do it. All right, Weimer with the ball to Seed. Seed tries to get it to Smith. Back out to Seed. Okay, it's going to be up, but air ball. It's okay, be Weimer, Weimer got back in. And Barker's going to go for a deuce. Barker okay. hadn't hit two yet. Uh-oh. Oh, oh got, Smith got it. Oh, okay. he wants a foul. He's going to be here. He's going to call that one. He's going to take it. I think that was a pretty good call, though. I saw it. <laughs> yep. I think we have uh, Mike Daly on the PA system right now talking. We've got a strict rule here because these are borrowed baskets. They're not ours. There's no dunking in the game. So if you dunk, then you're completely out. Your whole team is. So I understand that. People own his property, so we try to take care of it. Todd Gill just trying to take it in. Uh, gets hammered. So I think they're going to take it back out. You know, the outpouring of the community for this event is just unreal. You know, people letting us use their basketball 
goals and everything like that is just, you know, pretty unreal. That's good. It's good to have that. And I'll tell you, good pass off by Todd Gill. Oh, Fairbanks just had oh, an easy seat, shot. Oh, Seat got it. He's driving game. on Gill. On Gill. Gill is just, he's putting himself in the line of fire on this one. He does. Todd, he's hes not a very big guy, but he's not afraid to get in there and, and put the hustle and put the muscle into it either. So he'll give you 110%. There goes Barker for two, and he oh, just can't get it. In and out, ball. in and out. C comes up, he's looking for two. Smith on the inside, and it's yeah. good. Smith's going to give him a single at that one. He's going to reduce that uh, lead to three. I have the defenders at 17 points, so... We're going to see if uh, see if my score shoots even close when it comes time. <laughs> Good pass to Barker. I seen that one coming. Oh, oh he, okay. I think he, he tried to bounce it off seed there. Okay, he tried, but I think what they're doing, I think he wants the ball back on A. He's not going to get back. He's trying to say seed kind of pushed him out a little bit. But. Weimer to Smith. Smith's driving. Oh, oh that was a layup. Todd Gill with the rebound. Gill's shaking and baking, taking it to the hole. Oh, oh he was Weimer got by him. Weimer. Hold on. It's Todd yeah, up. Looks like we got the... Uh, all right, yeah, Todd's up. Todd's he, he took a spill there, but he's up and moving. Okay. I, I, I hope we can get out of this game with any conflict between Gill and Weimer. You can tell that those guys just aren't clashing together, aren't, aren't jiving together that well. So Looks like Todd's got a minor injury to his... Uh, yeah, he's probably going to take a little bit of break there. Looks like he came down pretty hard. So Left side, is it? A, is okay, it? what we're doing now is we're taking a timeout. Each team is allotted one timeout uh, per... Uh, per game, so it looks like uh, Todd Gills and the defenders are gonna, gonna go ahead and take a timeout. All right, let's see here. The Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank of Oblong is proud to be in Crawford County and is pleased to help bring you this telecast. Enjoy the great hours and full service banking at the Robinson IGA okay. branch of the First National Bank in Oblong. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Okay, apparently the game's over. Apparently they had uh, three more points than when I had them. Like I said, I'm not gonna, good thing I'm not holding my life to my score pad I've got, but <laughs> I've seen them sign the sheet over there, so that way uh, they, they've got the game now. Defenders are gonna go ahead and uh, advance on into the winner's bracket and wait for the next game. Well, I got a chance, I do wanna say something real fast. Uh, we've got a good community effort on this, but one person I think that needs a real big, big special thanks is Mike Daly uh, with the Robinson Police Department because he is he's just fantastic. He puts a lot of work into this, spends uh, several hours setting it up, contacting people, getting a hold of the goals, getting a hold of sponsors, you know, just setting up everything. And usually by the end of the day, he's just totally exhausted. In fact, he takes vacation uh, the following week because it takes him that long to recuperate. So I just do want to put a big word, big plus in for him because he's done a fantastic job and he has been the last three years. I met Mike for the first time today and he seemed like an incredible individual. He didn't have a lot of time to talk to me because he's running around a lot. But uh, yeah, I, I think it really takes dedicated people for the D.A.R.E. program here in Robinson and anywhere in the country, you know. And it's a national thing and only people like Mike make it work. So I want to congratulate Mike on what he's accomplished here today and want to say keep on keeping on. Well, I hope so too. Uh, the Loyal Order of the Moose, number 1369 in Robinson, is proud to be a sponsor of today's broadcast and supports the youth of Crawford County. That's the Loyal Order of Moose, number 1369 in Robinson. So, you know, you got people from the Moose, and you got all these communities coming together for one purpose today, and that's to help the D.A.R.E. program. Raise money. All right, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 